Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Astral Academy X Goblins of Io. Oh my gosh, I'm very excited for today's session. I'm very nervous for today's session, as I'm sure you will have seen from the title and everything else that has happened last session. A lot is going to happen. This is going to be a very vital, very important uh, session. Might be a couple of sessions, chat, depending on what's going on and what's happening. Some big uh, future elements are about to take place uh, starting in today's episode. But hey, don't let the players know that, am I right? <laughs> Man, that could be our little secret, huh, chat? That could be our little secret, winks, winks at you, yes? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and unmute because we got a lot to do today. Uh, I see we're still waiting for Krendor, but that's okay. Shady is not, probably not going to make it today. Uh, but that's okay. We will adjust accordingly. We'll have to do a a, 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 a roll call here in just a second. I think we have uh, I think we have everything here. We're just waiting for Crendor. So I'm gonna go ahead and introduce myself now. Oh, character. Oh. Oh. Hello, hello, hello. How's everyone doing today? Oh, hello. Hello. Good, good, good. Hello, hello. 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 I'm doing. Hello. I'm doing great. I've I've been very, very, very excited for today's session. So I am. We decided oh. we're not gonna fight the inevitable. Okay, yeah. well, I'll see you all <laughs> next week. Thank West you West. so much. Have a good one. <laughs> as, a, as, as a DM, as a DM, I am always prepared for you guys to change your mind. So there's no worries mm -hmm. if you guys decide that you do not want to fight an inevitable. That is perfectly okay. Um, are we missing? I see we're missing. We're still waiting for Crendor. Correct? Classic. He's recovering, dude. I know Classic. he's recovering. I know he's recovering. So we're waiting for Crendor. He might be. Well, we can just like uh, put him in a room with robots, right? Like if it worked for Brizzy, it can work for Crendor. <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, I would also say anyone in the Goblins group could probably pretty reliably RP as Skagzag with <laughs> too much, yeah. like yeah. without much really, you know, no, missing no, there. No, 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 no. I mean, I I Crendor you, doesn't man. bring a whole fucking you know thing to the table. I'm he just did, saying, I've I, seen enough Skagzag that I can say I hate humans, and be pretty good. <laughs> Crendor, I cast fog. Crendor, I cast yeah. fog. Crendor brings a lot to the table. He will be here. We'll give him set. We'll give him a few minutes, and if he's not there, we will. RP with them because we uh, we do know that he is recovering, but he believed he was going to make it today. So, and if he can't, it's not a it's not a. I'll forget all my abilities worries. and throw snowball. Yeah, it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> easy. Bullies, Yo. bullies, all of you. Um, Shady yeah. unfortunately is not going to be able to make it today. Um, we wish Shady well. Uh, and we will have a uh additional balance effect just in case. Um, I, I'm assuming Shady's not going to make it today, but if he can't. Uh, we will adjust accordingly so that you guys will be okay, depending on what you all decide to do today. So, um, yeah, we'll just wait for we'll wait for Crendor for a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and set some things up. Last we left off, let me go ahead and actually get this all adjusted now while we're waiting for Crendor, and we'll do a a brief recap. What um between the academy and the goblins, would you say you are currently you guys currently have an uneasy alliance. Is that fair to say, or would you? Is there a better way? To alliance. <laughs> I wouldn't even I use would, that word. I would put it more as a temporary whoa. fucking agreement. Ceasefire. Ceasefire. I like bigger that. problem we're in more, the room. We're more situation. like the horde. Yeah, than the other. Yeah, alliance. exactly. They oh have my. to each eat a pickle, actually, for Pikel to even consider them. Friends? I've eaten one already. Thank you. Perfect. Oh, okay. We are friends. <laughs> <laughs> I have I have currently made friends with them. <laughs> All right. Just gonna go ahead and get that there, and then I'm gonna switch over to here. Make sure everything is not everything. Yeah, I think alliance will be more of a thing we worry about if uh, this isn't the last session of both of our campaigns. Yeah. yeah. Um, Could you imagine? <laughs> It, hey, yeah, honey, welcome to the Goblin Experience, guys. Because this is every fucking session of Goblins for the last like ten has been like the last one of the campaign back to back. To back. I, so, I, yeah. I was about to say I feel like Tomatoes being dramatic, but uh, no, it's he's actually he's pretty <laughs> right on the nose with that. Yeah, there have been uh, several times where I'm like, this could very well be. <laughs> this 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 could very well be it. This could very well be it for the Goblins. Um, and. I think it's fair to say that this could very well be it for, I mean, we'll see what happens. Um, 
but there's definitely going to be uh, no... Hold on one second. What the heck is going on? No survivors? Is that what he's going to say? Yeah, no survivors. There's no, definitely no, no, he wouldn't be no say that. Survivors. No. <laughs> Sorry. I, I was having a display issue. No, there's definitely be no punches held back because this is going to be a very important session depending on what happens, mm. what you guys do. I mean, this is one of those. I don't know if you guys have seen the title, but I, I specifically late today's episode's title is the fate of IO. Like it's literally that uh -oh. kind of, yep. It's, it's that kind of level of like whole shit that might actually change everything. Man, imagine future. being one of the other campaigns. And yeah, not imagine not that mattering. Dead, dude. Like, <laughs> and they're just like fucking living on borrowed time. <laughs> 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 um it's man it is it is very it is very well possible so um we'll give it a, a three more minutes for krendor if he doesn't show up we're just gonna we're just gonna start we're gonna jump in and like All i right. said we'll do an adjustment if someone who wants to control krendor if that is the case if anyone wants no, to no it's not the krendor case krendor wants to control krendor hey is oh, that krendor well. hey what's up how you doing man hey are you feeling well, good getting yeah, I'm doing better. I took a Tylenol. I took a Advil. Well, mm -hmm. That was like four hours ago. Now I'm still doing better. Nope, that's nice. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's good, yeah. I'm sorry. I kicked in that, then. Was, yeah. that was no. the best story. I was doing better four hours ago, and now I'm still doing better. So that is... <laughs> We can all crazy. hope to we'll aspire right now, to be at that level of himself. <laughs> Yesterday, I got that second Moderna, right? I'm like, I'm doing all right. Oh, then 12 man, hours that later, Moderna. 12 hours later, it started hitting. And I was yep. like, oh, boy. And yeah, then and just cool. my whole body was like aching. I had a headache. I was like what laying did down. You, you got Moderna. 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 Sleep it off. Just sleep it off. So I'm right. sleeping, but I'd wake up every like two hours In being pain. like hot or cold oh, no. and then i was just still achy but then oh. the third time i woke up i was like i feel better and then uh today i feel like 60 percent better so you're getting there 60 you're, you're getting there yeah That's good but with the advil tile and i'll kick it in i'm like 75 <laughs> nice wow. Shit. nice wow yeah, such an accurate fucking rating system for your wellness so yeah, then uh <laughs> then i got korean food so I mm -hmm. have my stew, but now nice. I like show up and everyone's like, dude, we're starting at like 6 15. I'm like, I didn't read anything. <laughs> <laughs> we know. We know. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're all aware. Right. Yeah, we're all aware. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. All right. Well, let's <laughs> let's let's jump in because uh this session uh we are gonna cap obviously at, at time. We're not gonna go over time today. Um, but it may leak over into another session because it's going to be, it's going to be a lot. So brace yourself, seatbelts, uh, buckle in. That's the word I was looking for. Buckle in. <laughs> buckle up. <laughs> buckle up. Thank you. Uh, how you say buckle up? Uh, because hey, uh, how you say buckle in? Uh, <laughs> right. Buckle get, up. Get it. Other cup. Get, get out of here. Um. So. <laughs> Let's go ahead and start. I think I have, as everyone logged into Goblins of IO, first of all, I have to do like a check because no. there's so many of you right now. Well, uh -huh. would you do me a favor and log into Goblins of IO? Now, Ooh, do your damn job. Could you <laughs> do not say that? <laughs> Don't put words in my mouth. Um, so uh last we left off it's a it's a black screen right now because we're going to go over to the next map here real soon um as a brief recap uh goblins you are currently fighting for your lives as you've escaped the planet of cosma uh breaking control of lagos who's infused you with the power of cosma an ancient uh dead deity uh, whose body is currently floating in space, hovering between the Nova, as well as uh, the planet of Io itself. Uh, teleported there, infused with power, you are currently escaping. You've been given a chance to return to Io, uh, to go to the staging grounds to face off against Cosmicara, or within Cosmicara, as it said, or uh, to go over to a mysterious station where an entity has appeared for a total of 50 seconds and disappeared. You've decided to explore this area where you've discovered a lot of uh, lore that uh, I don't think any of you as your characters may understand the heavy weight of it. But as players, knowing that IO actually takes place in uh, our solar system's future instead of a uh, fantastical past where the world has uh, the Earth has since been 
destroyed. The sun has been decimated, has been shut off, has been dead. And a race known as the Aurorans in a... Uh, an extinct race was attempting to transform Jupiter into a new sun so that they may terraform uh, the planet of Io, which we have learned is they have been successful because you are those colonized people. Uh, you are the new, the new Io. Uh, I don't know even if the world, uh, the, what the word is not citizens. I feel like there's a grander scale of it, but you're, you're, you are the new Io populace essentially. Ionians. Denizens. Ionians, I Ionians. Ooh, I like that. Meanwhile, meanwhile, right now. Meanwhile, I wish I had more drugs in me right now. <laughs> mean, meanwhile, on the other side, uh, the Astral Academy, you've been preparing against the fight against Cosmicara uh, with a goblin invasion fresh on the mind. Uh, the inevitable system has informed you that it believes it can take you to the destination that you need to go, uh, but it would require it to essentially alter a banishment of itself to a station that it was banished to uh, when goblins attacked the Academy. Uh, arriving at this station, uh, you've learned the same thing that I just recently said about the, the state of the world, um, as well as learning that the inevitable itself may have housed or may have actually uh, taken uh, body information and DNA of the original Lagos, which you have soon discovered that this station facilitates something known as the Lagos Project, where in an attempt to uh, learn the magic of the Astari, uh, they began to clone and experiment in a story by the name of Lagos. So you've learned that the inevitable itself uh, may have information and data and DNA of Lagos at that point, and it has shut down to continue its analysis of the station. You all have left that at that point uh, because you saw that goblins were in the station with you under attack, and you both may have something a little more in common. If a, dis if a discussion could be reached, uh, after facing off some robots and some fierce discussion, uh, you are currently, as you guys have described, a crossfire of sorts. Not crossfire, a ceasefire, not crossfire. That's the, uh, that's the wrong one. Fire. It's going to be a crossfire. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you guys are currently uh, in a ceasefire of sorts, as I believe, uh, Clurnt, you have asked that maybe you all should take care of the inevitable because the inevitable is bad yeah. news. As uh, you also discover within the computer systems of the station that the inevitable has recently renamed the station the Astral Academy, which has risen suspicions. And so, in an uneasy agreement, you all return back to the room uh, where Duckasan is currently observing uh, the inevitable in its shutdown state and what it could potentially be doing. So, with that recap... I will now take you to the map. You know, upon hearing the recap, it really dawned on me how out of our element we are here. Yes. We, yeah, should, welcome we to, need a welcome short to rest. Our world. <laughs> <laughs> we're kind of fucked up. We huh? were in mud huts six episodes we were in, ago. Yeah, we were, in, we were literally living like in oh, yeah. squalor up until... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We were killing people for dried frogs. Yep, mm -hmm. that's where we started. Fish, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. You have uh, you have definitely fallen into a cosmic plot at this point in time that honestly was not going to be revealed until much later in the campaign, but someone had to make an alignment with Cosma and reveal all of this earlier. So here we are. Uh, needless to say, yes, goblins have definitely moved the uh, the narrative along. So. With the campaign speed running, exactly, exactly. You guys are currently on a speed running record of this campaign. So, with that, can everyone, you should not be looking at a black screen. If you are, please let me know. I will go ahead and fix your token. Everyone, <clears throat> everyone, no black screens? Okay. Oh, I'm good. No, no black, black screens. screens. All right, cool, awesome. Um, so yes, let's. Uh, I'm so for this, we're gonna go ahead and have uh, Gideon will be waiting outside the door. 
uh, keeping guard, making sure that no robots are, are about to approach and hold back any threats that may be there. Uh, the inevitable sits before you, still waiting and idle. Uh, as a friendly reminder, an auction barrier has been placed in the room. In case you haven't been able to see it, and I will also turn off the grid so you can oh, see it wait. more clearly. <laughs> you can just turn off the oxygen. We didn't think that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, come on, they never did that to us. The All right. It, it, the <laughs> window, uh, the, it's, it, the window is uh, shattered within the area at that point in time. And uh, the yeah, the inevitable has been able to establish an oxygen barrier around here so that you all wouldn't suffocate. Forgot about that. Stop, stop thinking about, about, about so many not, different parts, dude. Like, he's, yeah, he's not a very good tactician if he's established an oxygen barrier and he's a robot. Like, why? Why would he do? No, that? he did. He did it for us. He did it for us yeah, when we he did teleported. It for us to save our lives. Oh right, he doesn't know. <laughs> we just forgot about that bit. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he'll forget push, too. Look, all we have to do. Is everyone grapple and push him up into space? Yeah, let's do a uh, ten man grapple. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there we go, aliens in. So you have returned over to the station, uh, where you've witnessed uh from you're not even certain how long ago it's been, probably thousands and thousands of years ago, the demise of the original Lagos within this very chassis, within this very uh construct that now sits idly. Uh, Duck is on with your your construct checks. You've been keeping an eye on the inevitable, seeing exactly what it's been doing. And from what you've been able to tell, um, I'm going to go ahead and have you make some conclusions right now. Go ahead and make a construct check for me, please. Okay. All right. Still, Great. Still unfamiliar with the technology and the inevitable construct as a whole. You believe you've been staring at this construct who has been in an idle state, analyzing the station learning all it can for, as it has stated before, the destruction of Cosmicara. It is at that I'm this point. Uh, go on, been please. Been in here this whole time, and I just figured out he's in sleep mode. <laughs> That's exactly it. You're just like, maybe you've had a couple of words with it so far, and it hasn't really said anything. You're, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a lot at this point. Okay, great. You hear the doors open up as your friends from the academy or uh, compatriots, allies of sorts, walk in uh, mm -hmm. with goblins at this point, and neither of them seem to be trying to kill each other. How do you respond, Duck? Standing still and staring. <laughs> oh, hello, Matt. Hello. Uh, oh, should, we all, should we all sit down and have a little rest? Didn't we do Before that we already? Do, do we have time yeah. for this? I don't know. I'm a little spent off of the robots. Uh, go I ahead. We rested last week, mate. Uh, <laughs> what? A, what? Full rest? You absolutely did not do a full no, rest no, no. last week. No yeah. short rest. So we short didn't rest. full rest. Oh, we didn't. Okay. We yeah, you did. A, you did a short rest. Yeah, okay. but you didn't full. Oh, rest. Did, did we do a short rest? We did. Yeah, at the end. Well, yeah, because mm -hmm. you, you you talked for an hour. I would count that as a short rest, but yeah, you definitely oh, awesome. haven't done a you haven't Hell done a yeah. long rest at this point do, in time. Do clerics get spell slots back with short rests? I don't uh, no, mm -hmm. they back into something like that. Yeah, and I, I I don't believe they do. I'm uh, gonna throw up. <laughs> spell slots, ex spell <laughs> slots, and uh, armaments exhausted mm -hmm. from the previous fight against constructs. Um. You all know why you came, what you came here to do. Um, you're free to, of course, role play to tell Duck is on, or even if you'd like to go ahead and discuss and learn more of what you'd like to, or, or talk more, uh, you're free to do so. Right now, the inevitable is still in idle mode. I mean, what did we come here to do? Are you to all kill it. <laughs> you Mr. Speaky, Mr. Speaky Goblin with the instruments, could you explain oh. to our colleague here, Dakazan, what our strategy is? All right, all right, listen here, right, lady? We, okay, we're all cool, at least for now. I'm just gonna go ahead and get that out right away. Second of all, uh, your robot's going rogue in there, and uh, we're, we're sort of opting to take it out before it becomes a problem. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, I, do I really have to explain everything? That's like an hour. We, I don't know if we have an hour. Does anyone want to like paraphrase? I'm not very good at that. Yeah, okay. Um, <clears throat> so they, 
allied themselves with Cosmicar. They tried to, and it turned out that Cosmicar is just kind of a puppet of this guy, Lagos, the Endbringer. You might remember him from our trip to the cave. Well, Lagos is still around, apparently, and has been using them to uh, spy on the Academy, but at some point they had to change of heart and realized that probably wasn't a good idea helping this dude. He's kind of a dick. And so they tried to uh, basically share what they could with us so we could uh, be prepared for this upcoming conflict with Lagos. They've broken with him since then. And when they tried to explain all this to the inevitable, they were attacked pretty much immediately. And after what we just learned in this room and what I assume the inevitable just learned about him being Lagos, you know, it's going to complicate things with him. So, Lagos, Levin's son, we presume, is evil? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can tell you that right now. Oh, yeah. And the inevitable is about to relearn his former goals. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. She's I rather mean, slow, isn't she? Well, he, re he, he renamed the damn station we're in to Astral Academy, which doesn't really look too good, frankly. At the moment, it, it's working for us, though. It's helping us But to how do you car. know when it wakes up that it will still be? Now's the time. Look, this is why we're here now. If he ain't... What I'm saying is we got to disable this thing and make sure it's good. Or, uh, when it wakes up, it's gonna kill us all. I can tell you that from when we fought. It is going to kill us all. It's gonna wipe us out. Is there a way hmm. I could determine, um, things such as if it can hear anything we're saying right now, as well as how it would, what it would need to do to wake up? Um, like, 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 uh, like, what do you mean? Can you repeat that question again, just so I can understand? Like, I know it's in sleep mode now, but is mm -hmm. there a way I can figure out if it's conscious of what's happening around it? Like, if it felt something hurting it, would it just wake up or? Well, like so, that? so now being given this information and understanding that, you know, if you do decide to believe, Clarent, that the station has been renamed to the Astral Academy, um, I will give you an additional attempt at a construct check, trying fit to learn more because you, you're you're beginning to realize that you may have been on the wrong path here. So, okay, if you would like to do another construct check, you may. Ooh, oh. twenty-one. A twenty-one will give you the following information. So currently, the inevitable is in a sort of low power mode instead of an actual sleep mode. While it hasn't necessarily become aware of the station or its surroundings, you do believe that it will become aware of it. So the good news is your conversations and everything you've been talking about at this point is not currently known to the inevitable, but uh, it may soon become uh, aware. The review security logs, ca camera footage, anything like that. It, it may become aware at that point in time. Hostile actions towards the inevitable will cause it to defend itself, but it will be a brief uh, power-up. So essentially, you will have four turns. And by four turns, I mean four of you will be able to do something before the inevitable will come to full consciousness. <gasps> uh -oh. Even, if, oh. even if we prep it all to happen at the same time? That is correct. If, I, oh if we God. were to say Cosmolink, would he detect that? <laughs> he will... Depending on, I, I can tell you that. If you were to Cosmo Link within the inevitable, uh, you would have to beat a heightened DC. Um, not necessarily beating that heightened DC will still get you within the system to do to to check out things and see what you can do. But any detection of intrusion within its system will immediately cause it to awake. Uh, if you beat the heightened DC. You may be able to get in without it noticing while it's still in its low power mode. Would I be able to assist with the borrowed power that I got from him? 
Uh, unfortunately, with the cosmic, with the Cosma uh, draw ability, aka the Cosma link ability, um, you will not be able to provide a help action per se. Um, you will also have to, you will have to do your own separate link, which will allow you uh, additional access into the machine, but will provide you additional risk as the machine will identify multiple intrusion points. I got one more question. Yes. Mm. Uh, this oxygen barrier that's been produced, is that being produced by the inevitable specifically, or is it because of their link to this room and it's some it's a system in this room that's making that barrier? Uh, we'll have to investigate it, try man. to identify that too. Yeah. Uh, I think Arcana check on it. Yeah, so for that, you can go ahead and do an Arcana check on the barrier um, from the construct check. That is all that you know currently Ooh. Duck is on. And uh, if you wish to know more about its functionality, you will have to do a Cosma draw, risking um. uh, intrusion awareness. Uh, to quickly answer Trimmer's question, uh, the barrier itself seems to be produced by the station. But you also theorize that if the inevitable has control of the station, then it probably has control of the barrier. I will tell you though, with a 27 Arcana, that the barrier would not shut down immediately. It would take a total of four rounds before mm -hmm. the barrier completely shut down. Since the barrier is controlled by the station, you also believe that if you have some sort of control of the computer system or the machinery, whether through a Cosma draw or a construct check, you may be able to bolster the barrier further. But if a shutdown operation is initiated by the inevitable, it will take a total of four rounds before it actually goes down. All right. And I okay. have one more question. Okay. What is currently our goblin charge for transforming? Uh, hmm. At this point in time, uh, from the previous combat, I will say you are at a five charge. You are halfway there. Okay. Um, for the Astral um, Academy, the uh, the Cosma Goblins, don't essentially. spoil it. Oh, sorry. Okay. My, my we apologies. Cool, they Brett. don't even know. They don't even know. It's going to be cool, Brett. Uh, my God. apologies. God. My, my, God. My, my apologies. Damn it. Stepping back. Stepping back. It's okay. I, uh, I zoned out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I actually didn't hear either. Time. I'm not gonna lie. Thanks, Trendor. Yeah. If it um, makes you feel better, I never think you'll be cool. So, if, <laughs> if anyone needs to do some so, sort of like study, I can I can cast a spell to help them. I, I also, also have a way around the oxygen thing, but it would make mean that I can't fight. Uh, I think we'll be able to take care of the oxygen thing. Are you sure? I'd need to prep it beforehand, but I can make a tiny hut. And all of you uh, could pass in and out whenever you need to breathe, but I wouldn't be able to fight. I think uh, I think we'll be able to handle the oxygen thing with uh, our moves. That what actually is he sounds saying? great, though. I don't know no. what oxygen is. I don't even know what he's talking <laughs> about. How we breathe, yeah. model? Oh, you mean like you mean like air, right? Yeah. Breath. <gasps> Why would we do that? What? Keep holding it. What? <laughs> What is he talking about? Keep Friendly reminder it. that I'm the only goblin that has mm -hmm. a plus one in int. <laughs> <laughs> Giselle's just holding out his hands like, this is What is, is stupid. it you want now more than anything? You to be quiet. No one knows what you're talking about. Pikel's going to poke model on the side to try to get him to crack. <laughs> what the fuck are you trying to do? You're trying to kill me, mate. I thought you was going to do some magic on me. That is magic. That's the magic of life. Do we have to explain what it was meant to garner from that? I explained the model, the, the, the beauty of fucking birth and everything. He's the being and yeah. What is he talking about? Is he on drugs? I don't know. I think he just tried to kill me. What's the magic of life? That's what's going to happen if that shield goes down. Uh, yes, Claire. Right. If yes, I Glenn. Cosma draw into the interfaces here, like when we were in the other room, that didn't that didn't alert uh, the inevitable. I if I Cosma draw into here, is he going to know that I am connected to this room immediately? Uh, I would say as long as you are not with the construct check that Duck is on got, as long as you aren't Cosma drawing the inevitable precisely, 
Yeah, it no, I just want be... to go into the things to see like what this room has going yep. on in it before we like do anything. So yep, I'm gonna, of course. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna draw on in there. All right, uh, draw it on in here. Uh, it gives you um, some basic functionality, including locking and opening the doors over here. Uh, but more importantly, a new command has been added, which is the oxygen barrier control, which is currently bolstered at full power. It is here that I can let you know that by Cosmo, if by if you spend a Cosmo draw over here, uh, and the barrier, if the barrier were ever to begin a shutdown process, uh, you would be able to reset it. All right, yeah, we can take care of the oxygen thing ourselves, no problem. Mm -hmm. She's also I mean, still looking at all the goblins because I don't know how things are born, y'all. How are goblins born? I don't either. It is in character and right out. Uh... <laughs> I don't want to think about it right now. <laughs> what? I. Why would he Clara, say that? Don't be stingy with right the information, mate. I don't know. I'm right. I'm being honest. I don't know. I don't know either. I don't remember. Skags out. Who remembers when they're, they're, they're born? Do you remember when you were born? When you were born, I, I point over angrily at Alfredo. <laughs> yes, <laughs> actually. Uh, I'm recording Did it. You come from mud. <laughs> what? I mean. Did you just say you recorded it? <laughs> yes, in my diary. <laughs> What the fuck? You're telling me you were writing in your diary when you were born. <laughs> no, when I was old enough to understand the concept, I asked my parents to describe uh, it in details as it okay. might be important in my autobiography. Oh, no. oh my god. Just, Do you have your diary on you right now? No. What's the matter? Oh, were you born guy. in mud? No. Well, that doesn't make any sense. They're crazy. Yeah, you're weird. You're weird. This asshole Academy is weird. <laughs> Very weird. <laughs> okay, so what's the plan? Are we gonna keep talking about mud all day or are we gonna do something? That's is all it... we do. All right, we know how to keep the oxygen up. If he starts doing something, we're not gonna die right away, right? But we need to decide now if we're gonna do this or not. Well, is there any version of this where we don't open up aggression? Do we try to reason or reprogram uh, well, it? Well, last time I tried to reason with it, he, without hesitation, tried to blast a hole in my uh, chest. Okay, well, maybe so, he just uh, doesn't like you guys. Well, we he probably wouldn't like chance. you then either after what happened. Yes. After what happened? Last, last, uh, last session, right, Brett? An hour ago, that. you mean? You mean yeah, an hour yeah, ago? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I mean, there's a whole lot wrong with me. Maybe he likes, uh, he likes Doug on more. Doug should do it. I can just wait behind here. Psst, model. Yep. What are we doing? Uh, wait, I, I can't remember if you know what the inevitable is, mate. I have no clue what any of this is. Uh, <laughs> I'm just very excited to be with friends. We're, we're friends, just, right? A lot of friends having a big fight okay. together. Uh-huh. We're going to make a legend right here. A You're going to be a legend. Yeah. I don't know what that is, but I'm very, you seem excited. You don't know what I let a fucking hell. All right. No, I don't. Clint, we're going to have to figure out how to get Cheezel out of him. All right, I'm just going, Cheezel, I'm just going to lay out the sort of like plan here in the most yes. basic way possible. When that right. big thing, you see that big guy over there? Right now, yes. The, big guy. On the other if side he, of the Yeah, if the he starts sort trying of to goblin. kill us, yes. right? If he starts taking swings and blasting, right. you just start swinging back. Okay. No. Uh, that's why I have this sword. Exactly, exactly. You're so powerful, Giselle. Oh, thank you. You're so powerful. That's why we need you up there. But don't do not do anything unless he starts blasting. All right. No, you just say murder and I'll, All I'll, right, I'll yell. That. I'll yell murder and you I'll get in there and start, start slashing. Yes, slashing. Do I need to cover that exact same thing again for any of the others here? <laughs> I look at the other goblins who seem to be <laughs> a little confused. <laughs> no, it makes sense to me. I didn't understand the whole oxygen thing, but yeah. Killing I, I can do. I couldn't grab a hold of it. No, yeah. mate. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly as time has gone on, Clerk's um, like ability to deal with the like increasingly <laughs> stupid goblins <laughs> has, gotten, <laughs> has gotten worse and worse. <laughs> Um, Mr. Stabby Goblin, the concept of oxygen is very much like he points to space. That's like being underwater. Right, like swimming. 
Yeah. So you can't, you yeah, can't swim right. in the air, mate. You, you can only swim in the water. You can swim out there. There's no air out there is the point. I don't get it. Okay. I Don't worry about it, Al. If... <laughs> If you suffer, you suffer, you suffer. It's not, it doesn't matter. Like, I, I, I Just point me what I need to fucking shoot and I'll shoot it. Here. They're making it so complicated. Last question. Yeah. I think either we open it up with Duckazon trying to peer inside and see what they can do with reprogramming. If not, we look for the most damaging opening salvo possible. If that's, you know, unplugging it, then we do that. Or maybe there's like a big old off button or uh i don't know an important i, mean, I just cord. checked in uh in this thing i don't see any off buttons i don't see any way to disconnect I mean, him from the system this and he points here. at the, the inevitable <laughs> maybe there's like a neck yeah. a neck cord a neck what wire if, what if i just turn it into a squirrel and throw it into this the air water <laughs> that's a good <laughs> idea yeah, I like that how makes thinking. sense to me now I hold on okay. hold, wait a minute you actually may have a point Technically, what if we throw it towards the sun? Can we project? Can we make make it zoom that way? Uh, yeah, Skagzad can do that. He can project Turn anything into a under five pounds and then catapult it into the sun. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's got magic. Hi, Presto. Yeah. Am I needed? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Always. He All right, nice. <laughs> okay, how about this? Mm. Dakazan, do you feel like you can reprogram it, or not so much? Uh, probably not to that extent. I might be able to do something, such as just take out Granny or something. To... Oh, that, that, that's not, let's worry about, let's worry about the immediate right now. I don't think Granny's <laughs> oh, gonna really it, be able to help here. No, more so, uh, I fear she probably makes him a bit stronger. You think? Mm. <laughs> what do you mean he makes? He is this he like thing using... is composed of a lot of different energy sources, including your Granny. So yeah, in a way, she's right. She's not. She's not our granny, mate. He's just sure. a granny. Just a I granny. I can throw her out to space if you want. It's just that it's better that it's not inside of him. Right, right, right. What? What's stopping him from just swimming back though? Oh, damn, it's a really God hard. It. It's deep. You can't <laughs> swim properly. It's a lot of current, you know. <laughs> sure. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you could probably just cast a spell to teleport. That's true. I'm gonna to touch Duck's shoulder. Unless that requires and, uh, verbal components, perhaps without uh, air. Cast he guidance. Can... can uh, Brett? Yes. Can I scan before a fight happens to get an idea of how much health this thing has right now? Uh, you cannot. Uh, real quick, above board to the Astral Academy team. Um, you mentioned last time, it might have been Kraken, someone mentioned, is there a, is there like a clone inside, is there like someone mm -hmm. in this? So, um, a small creature, yeah. There's the, there's the decaying remains of, of basically, Lagos clone. Basically, Lagos was cloned a hundred times to try to, like, use his power, I guess, and then one of them was used to, like, his memories and everything, like his power was infused into this metal form. Yeah, so um, as a brief recap, the original Lagos uh, was the Aurorans were essentially attempting to extract the magic that the Astari have uh, using, at this point, brute force because their planet had been destroyed. Uh, Lagos would not, it was not only unable to give it, but was very defiant on it. So the last ditch effort was the inevitable system, which specifically is a torture device used to literally extract everything from an individual for the most detailed brutal uh, analysis possible uh in which case lagos was then murdered by this machine so that uh his data could be analyzed for magical purposes but yes uh, lagos has also been cloned so that if the original for some reason were unable to uh, we're, we're unable to provide the information the Aurora needs. There's uh, clones of Lagos that are around that they will be able to do further study on. AKA mm -hmm. more than one Lagos. Yeah. Aldoris, I think making your hut might be worth it. They can probably just dispel mm. it, but at least they would have to use effort to get rid of it. Uh, yes, it would, it would cancel me out of the fight, but people can 
come into it and Look, you know um, heal up and whatnot. We need all the we need all the damage on this thing we can get. The oxygen is gonna be fine. I'm fairly confident I'm less that well, about can... oxygen than its own attacks. I mean, yeah, it, she said it can heal us too. It can heal us. Yeah, that's well, what you just said, right? Hmm. I, it won't. It won't. It won't be a struggle for me to make it. It won't. I, it doesn't well, take well, much how energy. much? How it much damage barrier, you do, yeah. Alfredo? <laughs> well, how much I'm, can you do? I've been known to, to dabble. Dabble? What do you do? <laughs> yeah, we need more than dabbling, <laughs> mate. You can make um, huts out of mud. Like, what do you do? I'm capable of transferring the the. Uh, the capabilities of any spell into another element or 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 oh my variant. Gosh. Hey, we're making this guy make a hut for us. Yeah. He knows every spell possible. Actually. What I'm saying <laughs> is that maybe the hut's something you make after you blast him a couple of times. Don't no, just it, make like the a hut. full minute at least. And why does that take you out of the fight? A full minute of casting a spell. A lot of things no, happen I mean, in a minute. You do it first. Oh, I can't leave it. And I can can't... you shoot out of it? I think projectiles, but I don't think I can. Hold on. Let me just double check. How this long has this guy been a wizard for? Yeah. <laughs> My whole <laughs> life, I know too many spells. <laughs> he does know too many spells. He forgets the important ones in order to bring huts that he doesn't use. No, this is. I don't, I don't have you. to bring this with me. It's not prepared. Mm hmm. Um, no, I can't cast spells through it, but technically you could throw projectiles out of it. Alright. You're just gonna throw fucking knives? All like, I know, one, bottles else. at him. When, when we fought this guy in the academy, every single thing we'd throw at it with our weapons would bounce right off. Magic's the only thing yeah. that even works on the guy. And if one of you wizards isn't even blasting stuff at it, yeah, our no, chances I agree. go down. All wizards are needed, yeah. but also we've also seen him absorb all energy given to him, so there's no reason to believe he can't do that too. I think we need to be un unorthodox with our plan. So the squirrel thing then? Squirrel thing. Squirrel thing. That's up. Yeah, it's one option. I mean, if if he can absorb energy and physical attacks, how the fuck are we gonna hurt him? Turn off the power, or reason with him. Look, we heard Reason him before. Him. We didn't kill him, but we definitely heard him. Zoom like really the good. At... Idea. He didn't seem very reasonable. He was not very reasonable at all. Even to Clark. I'm wait. very reasonable. All right. Okay. Um, uh, here, how about this? All right, squirrel thing. How are we going to throw him out? No, we can't. We can't. Constructs what? are unable to be transformed into into animals and other beasts. Can we turn him into a smaller but construct? Is he technically a construct? I mean, I guess he is. <laughs> I think so. Alright. Yeah, can you turn him into like a box? And then we throw the box out? Yeah. That's our ninth level spell. Mm. Yeah. No, do that it. means we can't do it. Okay. Oh. No! Well, look, <laughs> the better options are either you try to get in there and change it around. I don't know how that works. Or we just take our chances blasting it. I'm fine with taking a chance with the, uh, Changing it from the inside thing with blasting as a quick backup plan, Look, ready to go. Since it knows me and doesn't know you guys, I'm down to surprise it by using this energy that I borrowed from you as the opening attempt. Look, I don't want to. I didn't want to tell you this, but um, I was disguised as you when I talked to him in. Uh, Dick. Yeah, yeah, it got us oh, pretty yeah. far into the academy without yeah. any questions asked. But uh, I was disguised as you when he blast blasted me. It was the second he sensed uh, Cosma power. So uh, he'd probably do the same to you without even hesitating. Fair. We if could have all, all the Cosma people hide. Here, let's hide behind this. You he crouches down. Just sense yeah. it. <laughs> Good <laughs> idea. Wait, okay, now hold on a second. What if I, I can pop the hut for free anyway? Why don't you go and hide in that? So if he does start trying to strike, he can't hurt you at least. Finally, a good idea. Give me a mud hut. It's, it's actually not even a hut. It's technically a dome of magic, but the spell's called Tiny Hut. It's very, very disconcerting. I think it's uh, worth what? having up, and when you feel like you need to exit to attack, then you can leave it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, 
Ten foot yeah. radius. All right, I'm gonna start ritually casting Tiny Hut. Do but we before have to be I do in it when you cast. Uh, no, he can control who goes in and out. We, right? we can come in and yeah. out. Yeah, he is. How many of us are there? Stay in it. Yeah, I have to stay in it. You guys can come in and out. I would recommend putting like. Is there three, here. six, nine oh, everyone? Us. It's nine creatures. It's nine creatures. So hey, if I was to eyeball the inevitable right now, would I be able to tell if I have twelve minutes to uh, inspire the team with my leadership? <laughs> twelve minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, a long spell. You can go ahead and do a scan check for that to see if you'd be able to. Yes. I'd love to do that. Thank you, Brett. You are welcome. How I does this we, hut work exactly? Let's put all the goblins in the uh, hut. I'll, po I'll post it in chat. Boop, boop. And then yeah, me, can, I guess, go in if I'm Cosmo tainted, and then you guys try talking to him first. Yeah. And then if it goes wrong, then we, you know. Joe, you have control. Oh, wonderful. All right. So, 12 minutes. Uh, you, with your scan, I will let you know. Uh, that this, that the inevitable will become active in 10. Well, uh, good news I, is it actually is only 10 minutes to inspire. So Ooh. you um, have to spend your entire time doing so. I will also give you a, uh, a further analysis, if you will. Um, if you would like to uh, long rest to complete your spells, you'd be able to. Uh, but by doing so, you would bypass the four rounds of surprise, or the four turns of surprise that you would get. Oh, wow. Uh, um, well, regardless, worth it. while you guys are it's elaborating really on that, Clarence going to start hyping up the team uh, with some yeah. really inspiring leadership. Uh, anyone that did have one of my temporary health things, take it off now while I give it to okay. a so new shuffle can... of people for this. Just so can... before I do it. Can you not attack the dome? Is that the idea? Yeah, he can't. He unless he dispels well, it, or if he has like a like if he has a like an AOE and he like no no, I don't no know, places it isn't right it outside the dome space. Sorry, is it a different space? Like you go inside it and it's like a pocket dimension, or is it like a no dome no no? It's like a barrier. Way. It's essentially like a like imagine like a like we're surrounded by like a oh like a sphere. Yeah okay. Yeah the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the um, tiny hut the tiny hut will also allow you to full rest safely. I am yeah. Oh going to give myself uh, temporary hit points of 12. Skagzag takes yes, 12. Yes. Uh, Duckazon takes 12. Uh, Pekel, because they're the healer for sure, Thank for you. sure. Yeah, and Shane, you, your character can like fucking turn to a gorilla, right? You're pretty Yeah, I don't need health if I'm a gorilla. And uh, I guess I guess it's either Kraken or Joe, and I'm not sure which, I'm not sure um, your character is which one is more prone to death or has better support where they would need to be you know i i don't know um Trem is prone to death for sure i am dead yeah i can uh, technically cast spare the dying oh so then we should definitely use it on joe yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm gonna put on joe then uh so that's one two three four five also, Brett, uh, yes. because this would take me 11 minutes, mm -hmm. I'm going to use my quickened ritual casting to do, which I can do once per long rest, to cast mm -hmm. it in a minute, mm -hmm. um, so that we don't go over time. I'm going to put okay. the last one on Cheezle, actually. I have one more still, and this sounds wild, but I've seen Cheezle eat so much damage at this point, <laughs> they need all the help they can get. Thank <laughs> you. So that's what I say. Ah. I promise not to do anything dramatic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Uh -huh. <laughs> I like that we put this in the corner as well. <laughs> yeah, that. Well, it'd be very I mean, obvious if there was a, like a big magic thing in the middle of the room during this conversation, wouldn't it? Mm. <laughs> it's stealthy well, here. Uh, Above board, the fucking inevitable has like feelings in the rooms that he slots into. So he could feel underneath the dome? Question mark. He could feel the floor, or does the dome uh, like it's, causally it's disconnect it? Yeah. It's like also, oh, it, it goes underground too. Yeah. Also, okay. we need to decide as a group now, uh, with these with this dwindling time we still have, if we're gonna take the long rest or the four turns of damage. Four turns of damage. Four turns of damage is a huge. Yeah, it depends. I have enough intro. slots, and I'm fine. I've only used one. Je two just to reiterate, three. that means only four of you get to do a surprise round, not four, four rounds. Turns, four turns, not rounds. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Four, 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 turns. four individual turns. So it's who's really... actually low on slots? Is anyone low at all? Every, yeah. Um, people are low. 
I only have I only use two spell slots. It looks like so I'm good. Yeah, I only use okay. two. Wait, only only, only some of us get those four rounds. That it, yeah, so and, and it, is, it is it is not it is not four rounds. It is four turns, as in four individuals gets to do uh, a thing, and yeah. then it becomes active. Model gets is exactly is that huge in comparison to uh, I, I higher I'm level physical. spell slots. Oh, okay. So it comes yeah. down to if people have been using like yeah. level four slots and stuff. Yeah, I used like, I've used a level three, which is pretty significant. I've oh. used two level three slots. Oh, it might oh, be worth it might be worth resting at that point then, if it's only four turns. I'm gonna keep the dome up for a little longer anyway, because I can cast three spells through my head, mm -hmm. so I don't have to leave it for at least three turns. So, nice. uh, are we resting or gunning? It? I think I think rest if, if it's only four turns and you've used two three slots, and we're down one three slot on you as well. I've, I've used two deal. three slots as well. Yeah. Okay, let's rest yeah, then. I think rest. three slots are more important. All yeah. right. Uh, I, okay, I get to keep my temp HP on this one. <laughs> You're not gonna make me. I I will assume that you will have bolstered everyone with an inspiring speech after a well rest. Sweet. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, yeah. uh, in addition to that, um, Al, you said you can keep the hut up for longer. How much longer can you keep it up for? So, so I can. It's eight hours, but I can like quick and cast it to get it done in one minute. But I meant that like. I can stay inside and still cast spells from the outside with my head. Gotcha. Um, so I'm keep it. press the long rest button. Make sure you re-add your temp HP. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, I I will say that during this time you were able to bolster, um, because yeah, yep, yep, yep. So you're able to yep. You do an inspiring speech at that point in time. Uh, in eight hours, once the full rest is complete, the dome will go down. Oh, yes. And once the dome goes down, we will enter a mode of high stress where you will then oh. all need to roll initiative. Fuck. Wait, the dome's going down. I thought we were staying, it's, you're keeping it up. Well, it goes only for eight hours. So it's exactly eight hours, yeah. So at the end of the full hey, rest, no. the dome goes down. Yeah. Why do we... Uh, we're, so we're not at all going to attempt to talk to it when it comes yeah. So just as a recap, we're rolling initiative for high stress. That means that we need to take things at an action by action basis so that if something were to happen, essentially what's going to happen is the inevitable will be aware of your presence. You all will be aware of the inevitable presence. There will be no surprise action. The initiative roll will happen. You all are still free to talk, but you're uncertain what the inevitable could do. The dome could drop. Mm. The inevitable could just blast you with a laser right there. You're uncertain. That's why we call it high stress. Yeah. It's not necessarily combat yet. That but is correct. Could be. It Aldoris, could. maybe try to get this dome back up if you can. I'm just trying to think about the timing. Is he? Yeah. He's, he's going to be active in 10 minutes. The only time oh. I could really cast it would be if I didn't rest and then during the sleep. But then if he attacks you whilst you're still asleep, it's going to be dangerous. Well, I don't know if I can get it back up. Isn't a long rest seven hours because of guard hour? Like everyone does one guard hour, right? Uh, Isn't that how it works? That is correct. But, a, right, but a full, but a full rest with with guard hours, quote unquote. Oh, we is don't still need guard hours. A, which, That's it, what he's well, saying. Right. It's still it's uh, a full rest action is still defined as an eight hour period, whether yeah, it be yeah. between guard right, right, or well resting. You can't you can't, you can't cast spells during your guard time. Like oh, that's a good point. wait a minute. Hold I mean, you you are allowed to prepare spells within if you'd like. Absolutely. Within yeah. The, well, mm -hmm. hold on. Is there anything to stop me at the yeah, no, I can cast this inevitably. Uh, sorry, indefinitely. Uh, if, if, if I can, if I don't rest, mm -hmm. I could wait until just before, 10 minutes before it's about to drop and cast it again in the exact same spot. Uh, you are free to do that. I will allow that. Absolutely. It just means that I don't get my slots back. I would, I mean, for that, I would give you the full rest. I, I won't punish you for 10 minutes. Oh, okay. Let's do it. Let's do that then. So you don't gain benefit of the rest if you do a strenuous activity like casting spells, fighting, or walking, or anything for longer than an hour during yes, the eight hour period. Ten minutes, so. Correct. Yeah, ten minutes right. is totally fine. All right. So we have the hut. We've got the initiation at the start. Um, are we are we still doing Duckazon trying to hack in, or are we just gonna fucking wing it? Feels like that's a pretty solid idea, yeah. considering you just play it off. Yeah. Like. Yeah. And I'm going to cast guidance just be like, we don't, like you don't know what's going on. Like, make okay. sure the inevitable's not about to explode. Yeah. 
Look, I think if you just say, hey, you were sleeping for a while, wanted to check up, you know, if, if he catches you. I'm not good with words, but well, I will try. You're gonna be fine. <sighs> I will I not would, harm I would eye contact as I say that. Yeah, <laughs> was that inspirational or not? I, I mean, I could technically... Yeah, do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll give you guidance. I'll give you guidance. We should pump everything. So I, I touch you on the shoulder and my hand glows for a moment. You get guidance. Yeah, I'll bardic for inspiration as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Also, above board, does it, do any of you guys have potions? Um, no. No. Uh, but, I don't think so. Also, keep in I mind have, um... uh, for the inspiration that um, if you fail a check using it, you do not lose the die. Ooh. We oh, we uh, have so really we have day healing clouds. Oh yeah, mm. we do. Yeah, we have we have healing alternatives. Yeah, I have good items because I basically oh, probably won't be able to do and much damage. And they also don't I'm quick, use spell so. Spots, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. We are um, we're, we're set on healing. Well, for yeah. the healing alternatives, you replace the spell slot to heal. Mm. They're not they're not free. We healing. don't we don't use spell slots when we're in the day. Uh, you are able to, uh, you were able to re recycle that. That is correct. Yes. For risky things. These are, this is altered day than what you were c combating against Nigel with that. This is a more mm -hmm. refined version of day. So, um, you would be able to recall spell slots. Uh, the dangers you're on. You, oh, you wild just, magic. Yeah, yeah. Wild magic. Correct. Okay. All right. That sounds like do a plan. Want, do you want me to try to uninstall granny or something else specific? I think, okay, let's see, yeah, specifically what are you trying to do? I think it's... Hmm. Mm. You just not really care about Granny, right? Granny, Granny <laughs> is... <laughs> not to look, if Granny's her, making him stronger, it. that's one thing. But, like, if you're thinking this is an emotional, like, thing no, on no, us... No, not really, at all. We knew her I, for two days. Granny might as well be dead to me. All I'm right? And they have been for a, a long time. To take away its, its advantages. You sons of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I want to let you know. She's over here. This would be... We already attacked might him. Already attack him. him. Yeah. That's a good start. Uh, you know what? Sure. Let's do the granny angle. Why not? The Can granny you... angle. I at least watched him install it, so... Yeah. That you know might what you're be what I have for. the best chance at. Yeah. As we go forward with our Cosma draws, should we be looking for additional things to disconnect? Maybe. We want to try to disconnect his uh, connection to the station. Because that's what's going to kill us at the end of the day. Or yeah. the additional power-ups that he's been given, such as his attunement to sorcery, wizards, and the other classes. Yeah, yeah. Anything he can hook condition. into in this yeah. room, we could probably hook into too. Ah, if not to point. the same degree, then at least to some extent. Ultimately, we're looking for a way to turn him off. So if you see any sort of energy core or something in there when you're tinking around, figuring out a way for us to get to it, I think that's priority number one, right? Yeah. Or we'll yeah. just beat the shit out of it until it stops waking up. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that's our language. I like that. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. You got a duck. I give her a thumbs up. That's my inspiration. <laughs> okay. Yep. I so wait, so uh, before before walking up, um, if oh this, yeah, yeah. So the full rest would activate at that point in time after the long rest. Um, you are casting the barrier again to maintain that there. Is that mm -hmm. correct? Yes. All right. So before anything, before anyone leaves the barrier. We are going to turn the grid back on. Oh. So everyone oh. can be linked and connected. Feel free to move I your mean, character. Yeah, you were on the, the barrier. No worries. I'm just sitting on a keyboard. I, I think I can hold it right. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Feel free to move your tokens around where you would be within the barrier. I think you should move it up a bit. I don't think, because that's a wall right down there, right? I want it to be uh, up here. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. I can put it right on here yeah that way we can be on either side of it yeah yeah i'd be okay. i'd be on the far side <laughs> yeah i'm gonna be over to the, the left just in case he <laughs> has no it. reason to be close to any sort of combat ever 
Oh, just so you know, this panel is a border. It is actually part of the wall. The the shading over okay. here with this is the wall itself. So the, uh, you're not okay, okay. actually going in the wall there. Um, all right. Okay, can I have my zombie too? Wait, never yeah. have him. Yeah, you got your there zombie, is. buddy. <laughs> um, so at this point, full, you are fully rested. Uh, what spells do you uh, cast? Wizards before the Mage battle. Armor. And, Mage armor. Uh, Mage armor. Uh, Mage armor. Familial human. bond. Yeah, familial bond. Uh, uh, I feel like one bonus. Ah, shit. One bonus damage or the. I don't think the AC is going to help in this, is it? Let's do damage to all spells. Instances. It's all the damage or yeah, temp so I'm, I'm damage holding so everything important. for uh, shatters because I actually get advantage on a. Uh, it's constructs with my shatter, so I might actually end up doing a ton of damage to this guy this time. Hell yeah. Nice. Which I did not know until last session. <laughs> um, so, uh, Pikel, are you casting or playing any anything before we enter high stress? I don't have anything that gives me buffs, really. But I just, actually, let me clarify, though. That Cosmo thing we got a while ago for the plus two armor class, I have that now, right? That is correct. It should be in your... For the plus two armor class or plus two? You go plus was, two AC, right? Yeah, it was either AC or spell attack, oh, right? Oh, yeah, you, 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 also, you did that up. I actually have not added that to you, so I'm going to add that right now. Goblin mm -hmm. sidebar for a second. Um, I think yeah. uh, I think we, when the time comes, goes to me, right, for this one? Oh, for, yeah, probably. Yeah, if, it, if, it, so. if it affects with the, with the their party, too. Here. Yeah, that's probably the most amount of numerical benefit. Yeah. I'll go for the, the 10, 8, 10 temp HP for familiar bond. Yeah, do you reckon that's a better idea than the one yeah. damage? Probably. I think so too. I think we just need to survive longer. Um, Zahani. Uh, remember to use your ring, Zahani. Also, I'm going to do the guidance to uh, duck as soon as like we're ready. Okay, yeah, team. And they will also have my bardic inspiration. Still. Let's save yes. the worlds. Yeah. Oh, I guess. <laughs> not, what not a vote of confidence. Clarence is, uh, Clarence is a little tuckered out. All right, from all the He just woke inspiring. up. Yeah. He's rubbing his little eyes. I feel like uh, going like a WoW raid where everyone sits around talking about what to do and you're just waiting to fight. I feel like that's what I've been like. Like, <laughs> yeah, that comes like preloaded. Crandor, we're, we're, we're aware. We're aware. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. um, Pikel, your AC has been increased from 19 to 20 because your breastplate oh actually already had a plus Shit. one Damn. perfect so, um and i'll readjust that as necessary for the i next will one. tank <laughs> yeah <laughs> jesus christ i <laughs> actually cannot believe how tanky you are this is like crazy. you still almost died last <laughs> that's just physical stuff though right magic stuff still hits you correct correct uh, yeah correct which is most of the things we fight genuinely yeah mm -hmm. i break a leg all right what the hell does <laughs> oh, that doesn't sound like good advice. Everybody, <laughs> please roll your initiative. Oh man, I would love to. Thank oh. God um, damn it! I'm really bad. Are you fucking oh, kidding yeah. me? <laughs> Wait, I just remembered. Well, you want best bad. If I go you want bad every initiative. Time. Yeah, <laughs> I want to always be the lowest. All right. So, with the initiative rolls, you guys again will get to. Uh, with your crossover teamwork, essentially, uh, would you guys like the Goblins Initiative to match the Astral Academy's initiative or mm -hmm. the Astral Academy to match the Goblins Initiative? Uh, it's like yeah, Astral Academy goes uh, with theirs, right? And we it's like, do you prefer chocolate and peanut butter or peanut butter and chocolate? I think no, cars, right, guys? Because we got three, we got yeah. three people above yeah, we got 15. Three. I think so. Uh. So. Yeah, go with yours. Go with yours. <laughs> yeah, Why yeah. is it grouped? Oh, yeah, yeah that's what we did last time, just to make it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah so, so, I see, I see. so essentially, what, what uh, just as a recap for everyone that might be new to this as well, uh, audience included. Um, so instead of it just being initiative scattered all over the place and we've got, you know, eight or nine people going, uh, you share initiative with someone. Uh, so that way you both go at the same time, whether it be strategize or plan, it, it kind of helps speed things along as well and gives you a little more control of the initiative. So with that, so you're saying goblins match up with Astral Academy's initiative? 
Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Uh, model, uh, whose initiative would you like to share? Oh, I get to choose. It's not just the closest. That is correct. I mean, it's of good if I go. Time. Yeah, it's, it's good if I go early. as early as possible. However, I'm not going to be damaging, really. Um, because it's well, physically resistant. True. I thought we gave Duck like the one turn go. You know, like they were acting first, yeah. and we'll mm -hmm. come afterwards. Uh, that it's that's um. For high stress, if it, yeah, at the, well, so what's going to happen at that point is you can easily we'll, we'll skip around initiative, and if Duck is on goes or does something, then we start at that initiative. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All high right. high stress is just letting you guys know that there isn't <laughs> there isn't like any going to be like any like surprise round or action or anything like that. It's just going to kind of be like boom, 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 and see where you guys are at. Um, okay. It's just yeah, letting I'll you know that you're in a danger there. Instead. All right. Uh, choose which one you'd like to. Whose initiative you'd like to share? I'll go on on Joe's initiative. I think. Okay. I'll also, also, Benji, you can attack out this dome. I'm pretty sure, just not with spells. Yeah, I know. I can do about... fat crit damage on anything that's, but it's physically resistant. So there's no point. Mm. Mm -hmm. Right. Can you aim uh, for like, you know, between its eyes or some shit? I tried. I tried. Uh, Pikel, whose initiative would you like to share? I'll be buddies with Zahani again. <gasps> That's it. That was weird. Wait, I thought he was called the Kinky. Dumb Kinky. Skagzag. Skagzag of the Astral Academy. Besides, I'll go with Joe again. Nah, he's already been taken. Already taken. be hot. Besides. Oh, gee. <laughs> I was I was literally trying to give you all the information to you before you jumped the gun. <laughs> uh, that's too late. I'm jumping the gun. Okay. Uh, uh, I'll go with the. Uh... What if I just roll? You're free to do that. <laughs> do what you want, as, man. As, lo as long as Live you have your someone, best life, man. <laughs> yeah, as long as you have someone that you're attaching yourself to. All right. Uh, let's see. I'll do a D. Wait, doing this not three? to hurt anyone's feelings, guys. Have some respect. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Let's see. D three. Wait, I thought there was four. Oh wait. Just the, just say, like, name two must taken. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Probably <laughs> doesn't matter, man. <laughs> yeah. No. You can't pick Start out at this 10 p.m. People. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, well, I know, I know, I know. I'm well aware. Uh, <laughs> while you're figuring that out, I'm gonna move down the list. Uh, Jesse, uh, who would you like to link up with? Jesse's tinkling, I think. Move, move on. Okay, all right, perfect. Uh, Clark, Clark. I rolled a one. Okay, oh, what, is that? what does that mean, though? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool. It was meant to be a team. All right, well. all right. Sk Skagzag <laughs> is, is last at this point. Um, yeah, all right. really how, about, how about goblins oh go Bree, <laughs> me, Skagzag, Cheezle, Clunt? Is that good? That seems smart. That seems smart. That works. All right, so uh, where would you like Skagzag's uh, initiative to share? Actually, at this point Bring in time. Cheese or Skag, we're... then Clint. Okay. Um, I want, doesn't, I want doesn't the... Matter. Here. I'm going to go... You want last, right, Tomato? Yes, I want last. Yes. As long as Clint's last and I'm up, uh, I'm Breeze first. All right, I'm going to have Cheezel link up with Duckasan. I'm going to have uh, Skagzag link up with Joe again because there is a, a, a different number. If that works for everybody... Any mm -hmm, objections? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Perfect. <sighs> okay. So, uh, Zahani and Pikel, you guys are holding, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Duck is on. You yep. are free. You are free at this point to act. I will this approach. Bad. This is going to be fine. I have plenty of hit points. You got this. You've got like you got, you got so Spice much inspiration. Yeah. <laughs> you've got, you got a swagger as you walk up. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to attempt to open what I assume is the torso mm -hmm. area of the inevitable where As I you saw approach it open the before. inevitable, you will see the head turn to you. Oh, the God. inevitable has now become active within the eight hours. No. Oh. I'm gonna try to open it. It looks it it, it 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 looks it looks down to you. What are you doing, Takasan? Oh god, he said your name. You're in trouble. 
You, t- you turn back, Tremors giving you the thumbs up like, you got this! <laughs> he's, he's talking like to the Argos, but you got this! <laughs> State your purpose for what you are doing with this unit. I want to check how you have reset since yesterday. That is unnecessary. You may I would remove... like to do it for my own comfort, please. Your comfort is irrelevant. That's Not to me. <laughs> uh, at that point, it will look down to you, uh, expressing it does not wish for you to uh, investigate. Do you still wish to do so? Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, sure. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> I would have been, I mean, all of us would have been fine with you giving up. <laughs> that is the saddest Honestly, yeah. I've ever heard. Uh, We're watching someone die right now. Oh, no. <laughs> oh God. All right. Our dome is dark, by the way. Okay. I will uh, I will also change the color accordingly. Uh Duck is on. Please give me a construct check. There it is. There it is. I'm going D4. So, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, D4. Roll, roll D4 yeah. and then what's what's your bardic inspiration? It's going to be um, 1D8. But uh, I mean <laughs> Oh it is, God. it's a critical oh, success. Yeah. It's a critical 29. It's a of success, right? It, it, it could be it 30 plus, right? right? It is, it is a... Holy oh, shit! Oh, that's, that's 36. <laughs> All right. Okay, so you're spending your bardic inspiration. You're going yes. in. You've got over a 30 at this point in time. <laughs> it is nice at, I want an off switch nice is what I want. I, I, I <laughs> removing granny. So... An eject button. At this point in time, let me go ahead and, and, and list something. Uh, your thoroughness within the construct's uh, chest cavity has allowed you to do a multi, a, a well, it allows you to activate two commands that you would normally have, would have done with a successful Cosmo draw to the unit. Uh, in addition to, yeah, so that, that is essentially it. Um, I will what? also I will so I will also allow you I'm going to give you a full list of things uh, just a, it's a lot to go over. Um so a Cosmo draw would so as you know a Cosmo draw will allow you to control things within this unit that will make the combat against it easier. More importantly, okay. um I will also give you a free scan in addition to two successful <clears throat> Cosmo draws. So you are going to gain an additional a lot you're going to get a lot of information essentially that you're able to do here. A um, couple of things of note, uh, searching for an off switch, quote unquote, uh, you will at this point know that the uh, you have learned that the inevitable has become so intertwined with this station that it might as well be the station and shutting it off by a simple button is no longer an option. So ah. with that, uh, I will give you a list of things, and this is specifically for the Cosmo Draw ability that you can do. So, for context, uh, Brizzy, the Cosmo Draw is like the hack ability that the goblins have gotten last session that mm-hmm. we got access to, and basically it allows them to interface with the station and uh, other life forms. Oh, I don't really anything know Cosmo. Okay. Any, anything related to Cosma, in addition to uh, future techno- um, future type technology, things of that nature, including the inevitable. So, yeah. here is the list I'm going to give you at this point in time. And okay. I, you can go ahead and determine what you would think it all does. It's going to be a long list, so... Oh, God. Here we go. <laughs> So with Cosmo Draw, these are the following things that you can control within the unit. You can replenish the oxygen barrier. You can expose weakness to, you can, uh, twice rather, uh, but it's once per Cosmo Draw. You can remove resistances. You can lower movement. You can lower Ooh. AC, you can lower saves, you can lower hit points. You can do a, uh, you can do activate a faltering attack mode uh, once. Um, you can do a feedback loop. Uh, twice, uh, and then there is data inside about the eight Lagos, uh, the Lagos processing center, the or the Lagos processing like unit, like the actual like like what is the Lagos mindset, um, the actual objective of the inevitable itself, or 
you can eject the, and this is specifically given to you because of your role, uh, you can eject the granny unit. You can choose so two from lot. this list. That's yep. a lot to process. Um, do you yeah. want to talk about it all together, or do you have an idea of what you want? Yeah, you're free to talk about it. Um, just so you know, this uh, just uh, just a heads up. Uh, the inevitable uh, combat is literally going to be the most involved combat of all of IO so far. Mm. So this is a, a as we would define, oh, a mega boss. So that's why I said this may take several sessions. I feel like there are smarter things to do, but above board, I feel like Duck really wants to know the actual objective. Uh. Careful what you can to be, be true to your character, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, absolutely. Genuinely, we can't blame you for that, too. Go for mm -hmm. it. Unleash the granny. You get two, correct? <laughs> that, is cor granny. that is correct. You right. do get two. Um, so yeah. you would act oh, nice. as you... Yeah, so you would act as you would... Um, and this is pretty much... Yeah, this is... This is I uh, will add... Would, my two cents lowering the AC will make further cosmic draws easier. So, uh, mm. that is incorrect. Uh, okay, mm. cosmic draw is it's ability, but it's ability check, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's the cosmic draw is like a scan it's check. Contested. Oh, okay. so you just have to reach a it's certain not, level. It's not hit. That is, that is correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha, yep. gotcha. Exposed so then, weakness could be good. Removing resistance is a let physical damage like, be. Yeah, yeah. Viable, yeah. explain a bit is, the exposed <sighs> weakness versus remove resistance. How would those work? The extent of them. You are unaware. These are the commands that are okay. within it. Um, however, well, how, resistance how, is the how, terminology for physical resistance. How, yeah. However, um, if you would like to use your free scan to learn what one of those do, does, I will be more than happy to do that for you. You could also probably scan for the objective or granny removal if we think that's the mm. artist one yeah, to get. I mean, if, I, that, if, if a perfect roll is what got us the granny removal, I feel I, like it's I a agree. race to not yeah. remove it. Though. Because it might give him yeah. powers. Yeah, that the, you can the perfect that. Yeah. Sort of has oh, to be too. Granny was pretty powerful too. Yeah, we should probably remove. Um, that. Before you scan to learn the knowledge of it, I do want to give you the options that you can scan for. So, um, a couple of weeks ago, I've been kind of like fine tuning my combat a little bit to make it more involved, give you guys more choices for scanning, uh, give you guys more more decisions with your abilities and actions instead of I hit, I blast thing, I avoid things. So combat has become more detailed and also more dangerous. And what I actually found out um, last night when I was playing an Arcadum's game, uh, for those that have played in Arcadum boss fights, they, they feel a little more similar to uh, Arcadum style boss fights. Um, but with our own io twist that you guys have been seeing already so um for the scans let me go ahead and give you the list that you can go ahead and scan for this is specifically informational base and i will also let you know uh the new ruling is if you'd like to know meta information like hit points ac things like that you have to successfully scan three things about the creature in addition, mm. if you successfully scan everything about the creature, uh, you are able to scan into what is called a battle mastery because you've become so in tuned with the creature, uh, you can choose to give yourself plus two to attack rolls, plus two to AC, or plus two to saving throws um, for a full round uh, if you do a successful is that scan. On a person by person basis? That is a person by person basis. Okay. So if you scan and you already know everything, you become essentially more astute for a round uh make bolstering your ability your defenses or your attacks at that point okay. so and i know it's a lot uh so if you have any questions please let me know i'll be more than happy to refresh uh, i really but, like exposed weakness um let me give you the list of scan abilities that you can learn about and it is by far a lot because this is again the most involved combat created in io so far so deep breath here we go. These are all the things that you can scan for currently. The list oh, wow. is as follows. Uh, it is a powerful creature, uh, reactive combatant, cosmo resistance, adaptive barrier, oxygen depletion, planar subjugation, true damage, concentration drive, assimilated power, concentration round, action round, build up round, an execution round. What? Mm-hmm. 
Hey, execution round doesn't sound too good, guys. <laughs> yeah. I love that one. Don't exe. I will also let you know uh, the way combat works now is with big bosses is if they have multiple rounds, you will know because it'll say concentration round, action round, yada, yada, yada. Uh, those all have separate initiatives. So, and as I told you guys last week, you don't know enemy initiative anymore. So the, the rounds, figuring out when they go, actually go, um, that will let you know what those initiative rounds are as well if you do decide mm -hmm. to learn more information about that. Nice. Well, that's not good. So... How, what I can scan right now for mm -hmm. you get one scan one of... you get two draws uh, if you'd like you can use your scan to learn precisely what the draw abilities would do or you can learn one of the abilities in the scan table okay I think that identifying the draws are most important right now since you have two resources for, of them hmm. yeah I would like to scan for remove resistance okay so uh this creature has do i roll for it nope i i just okay. i'll let you know exactly what it is you've already succeeded on the roll by removing this creature's resistances uh you are effectively removing whatever resistance it has in addition this will have a link with the uh cosma resistance ability oh mm. that's important <laughs> yeah mm. okay Oh boy. It's time. Yeah, I want to first know the actual objective of okay. the inevitable. Going into the machine itself, uh, you recall the objective that is consistently stated to you, uh, rather religiously. Uh, the two objectives that this unit has, which is the protection of the Astral Academy and the defeat of Cosmicara. Those objectives are still within the mind of the inevitable. Whatever Levin did to this machine is absolutely locked and paramount within this creature. However, as you begin to see uh, things that it has done, for example, rename this station into the Astral Academy, thus able to fulfill its objective of protecting the Astral Academy, it seems to have methods and ways to bend what the ruling of those objectives are. It is being dupli uh, uh Oh man, I, I, I thought I had the word. I did it. Uh, it's being. It it has. It's 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 uh, able it's of deception. Loopholes. Correct. It is able of. De it is possible. It is able to be deceiving. And but I'm not able to determine for what purpose it is trying to find loopholes. Like what it actually wants around that. For that, I will let you know that if you look within the Lagos processing it will give you a deeper meaning of what exactly oh. that is. Something that is completely outside the objective itself. So the actual objective that I got was it's using loopholes for something? Uh, it is It is following the objective that it has stated to you to the best of okay. its ability, but it is being deceptive in its nature so that it can still technically follow those objectives. And... It's like okay. an AI in Space Station 13. Yeah. Dude, this sucks. I'm gonna put my second remove resistance. Okay. Its resistances are now removed. Wonderful. And with that, I will let you know the Cosmo resistance is removed, so you no longer need to scan for that. And I will even give you a freebie and tell you what the Cosmo resistance is. So we're not doing the great thing then? That is nope. correct. Unless I try again, I don't know. <laughs> uh, so try. the Cosmo resistance uh, means that any Cosmo draw attempt made against this unit would have been made at a disadvantage. However, with the removal of this, uh, you are now able to Cosmo draw normally with no disadvantage rolls necessary. Very important. That's really good, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's gonna help us get really the granny good. removal. Uh, yeah. So you, you yeah. have removed its damage resistances in addition to the Cosmo resistance with that. Nice. Okay. So nice job. Th that is what you're able to do. You're able to, to find the objective that this, is, this machine is being deceptive. Um, you were able to remove the resistances you were able to do that, and that was your move, and that was your skill check, your scan slash, uh, your scan slash construct slash draw check. So, with that, that was not an action. That was that, just... was that was not an action. 
Oh shit. Oh shit, I'm not prepared. Oh god. Do it again. Uh, yeah. So, um, since there's multiple skills ro rolling around, um, I want to let you know that you t whenever you do a skill check, uh, specifically for you, Dukazan, uh, you can do a construct check to also have the same effect as if you were Cosmo drawing this ability or this creature. Mm, cool. But you but you have to choose between scan or construct, so you wouldn't be able to scan further at that point unless you do. Do I have to be right up on it to do that? Uh, you can be right up on it, or you can be at any of the stations that look like they are computer units. Oh, cool. Okay. It is at this point that the inevitable who sees you have been defiant as, as his actions will let out a humming voice. You were the last person I expected to be defiant. I witnessed these students join side with the enemy, with the goblins of Cosma. I was hoping that you would take my side. You will, you will submit, submit to, the to the inevitable station, station to the Astral, Astral Academy. Academy. You will you face, face off against, against Cosmacara, Cosmacara, as stated. stated. You, will, you, will, you will no longer be devious in your, in your nature. nature. Do you surrender yourself to me? No. I wouldn't have been devious if you weren't first. I checked your objective and you are willfully being duplicitous and trying to find loopholes in your programming and that will not suffice. <laughs> Get. <laughs> Get wrecked. Uh, it will, <laughs> at that point, look down at you. In that, that case, your use, use is no longer required. required. Warriors, Warriors that, that fail, fail to comply, to comply against, against a threat, threat, threat such as Cosmatara, is, is of new use to me. me. And now, now I, I have found, found the means, means to defeat Cosmatara by, by myself. myself. And at this point, it will, you know, in, it, in a complete entirety, that the inevitable system has become hostile. And combat at yep. this point will begin. Okay. We were, we were just kidding. <laughs> Psych. We're not with her. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go oh and stay God. in our pink bubble. Let me go yeah. and get the battle theme on. Here we are. The battle theme has begun. And combat has started. Duck is on. You still have an action. Uh, go on, Tomato. I was just going to say that the terminology the inevitable used was the exact same that Lagos used while trying to... Uh, Get us all to go back into stasis for the mm -hmm. fight against you guys. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exact, exact same wording. <laughs> to yep. cool. I'm, I'm just impressed that we picked right, you know? So that seems like <laughs> yeah, it's objectively the right call. <laughs> <laughs> Duck is on. You still have an action. I am going to uh, click the heels of my boots to alter the gravity around me, my hair will float up and I will fly back into the bubble. Might want to disengage. Casting fly. I, I can't disengage. I'm using an action to cast fly. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. You are free to do so. The inevitable, the inevitable does not take an opportunity attack. Oh. What's a noob? <laughs> uh, allow me to pull up my notes. Uh, know exactly what happens now. Okay. Uh, after I will leave. Too. I'll leave my um my gravity orb, um, uh, fifteen feet in front of me or so outside of the bubble. Okay. Uh, All right, so now we just push him outside, right? <laughs> yeah, is he a squirrel? Push him. Is he a squirrel yet? Yeah. He's not to look like a squirrel. squirrel. Oh, fuck. No, I'm watching <laughs> him right now. He's not a squirrel. He's not but he is a noob. 
He's yes. definitely noob. He's, no, he's, get, he's getting old goblin. right now. He's getting old. <laughs> At the end of Dukasan's round, it will... Hmm? She's going to construct first, right? She already did. That was... This is still her... That's, yeah, that was all one turn. That was all her round. Oh, okay. Hmm. High stress. At the end of Dukazan's round, the inevitable will hold out its hands and begin to do similar motions as if it was casting the spell of a wizard as a shield of force surrounds the front of it. Oh, great. Uh, counter spell with the head. All right. Nice. As you counter the spell immediately at this point, the head will turn over to the illusionary head over there. Does it work immediately? Do I not have to roll? Nope. It'll work immediately for this effect that you're doing. Nice. Um, you will need... Um, I will... Uh, I will I, I, yeah, I'll give you the freebie for this one just for the effect because we're not at, at super high stress yet, but we'll be following rules as the combat really swings up. The inevitable will stare over into the owl head. I did not identify you within my room. You will be the first to go. <laughs> All right, Skagzag, Model, and Aldoris. Uh, Skagzag, go ahead and begin. Uh, Sk uh, Skagzag and Model begin planning your turn. Uh, Al, what do you do? Um. Uh -oh. Um. Yeah, I mean. I'm gonna, I'm, no, on, I'm gonna buddy. do, do something. something. I'm gonna. I'm not saying 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 I'm not I'm not saying 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 I'm not Oh, you know what? Um, let's let's get this out of the way with quickly. The execution round. Very well. The execution round. Uh, I will now add that the execution round happens at an initiative of one. Oh God. Mm. Okay. Um. Bu -bu 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 -bu. Sorry, I've got so much. So there we go. Let me go and pull that. Um, execution room. And now you get to know the name of the creature that you're fighting. Lagos, the inevitable fate, moves up to their movement speed and attacks with inevitable extraction. Inevitable extraction is a melee move that deals uh, 12 D8 plus 18 true damage. <gasps> Um, okay. Um, is this a 12 D8 plus what? Plus 18. 18. <laughs> True damage. Oh my god. Right. The, the, uh, the additional bonus damage is a multiplier of the strength modifier, not the strength modifier itself. Right, okay, thank god. If, if the target creature is brought down to zero HP, Lagos, the inevitable fate, restores health equal to the damage dealt. In addition, Lagos, the inevitable fate, gains a feature from that creature. So whatever class features you have, it gets to choose one and permanently oh. gets it. Fuck. Mm. Oh, and he just did that, or is that the execution? No, 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 that's, that's, that's that one. Okay, because I'm like, if that's just normal move, and that's how he's getting rid of the ball, we're all dead. I mean, we made a big mistake. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, the, yeah. uh, the execution round, it, he'll move up to his movement speed, which you don't know what that is. Uh, and if there is any creature within melee range, five feet, uh, he will perform an inevitable extraction. We should try to spread to as spread. hard as soon as possible. To, yeah. yeah, I mean, spreading is basically the rule for every single fight, and we <laughs> never learned how to do it. <laughs> yeah, we've not Always deployed that one. Yeah. <laughs> but for All now, right. he can't get in here. For now. <laughs> true. Hmm. That's true, yeah. And then, at this stage, I'm just going to test his reactions. I'm going to cast... It's a standard magic missile, first level through my head. Okay. Your head illuminates with balls of force as they blast out, impacting <laughs> the inevitable. <laughs> Sound effects included. Uh, total damage, please. <laughs> uh, total damage of six, 11, 13. 13 points Force of damage. damage. 
Uh, it appeared to have taken the full amount of the force damage. It's not resistant to force. He's basically dead. <laughs> yeah, but you I'm can winning. Shoot out of the bubble. We're winning. Uh, yes. Not spells, oh. but physical things. Yes. Uh, what is the head called exactly? Uh, the actual feature. Yes, please. It it is called uh, get manifest mind. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, does that end your round? <laughs> he still manifest mind to his tiny little head. <laughs> yes, that's it. Thank you. Okay. So, next, uh, Skagzag, do you know what you're going to do? Uh, uh, yeah. First, okay. though, I'm going to throw a good old fashioned uh, Evan look scan at him. Okay. Uh, can you, you can see through it, correct, uh, correct, Joe? Oh. Not that it matters. Right, that, that was basically yeah. blind. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he, he can't <laughs> see through it. His <laughs> eyes are closed. Uh, what are you looking eye. at? <laughs> Your eyes are closed. The wall. He's like facing the wall, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at something. Oh, yeah, it's fuck. opaque from the outside, but on the inside, you transparent, so you can see okay. it. Okay, cool. Uh, then I'm going to walk over here. Dude, he's the first one <gasps> brave <laughs> oh, uh, He's to evaporate. He's emerged. Listen, I've been <laughs> waiting to do something for years at this do point. Do it, Skagzag. You know what you must do. You know it. I'm gonna cast Fog. Yeah! 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 But which tier of Fog do I do? Oh. <laughs> uh, do you know what tier I you'd like to do? I think tier three is all right. So 30 foot fog, is that correct? Yeah, give Remember me Remember Skag, we, we know he feels through the ground and stuff, right? God, way to take the wind out of his sails. <laughs> the wind out of yes. his fog. The, but we <laughs> can't see so through the fog. fog. There's so. so much fog. Wait, we can't right. see through the fog? That is uh, correct. Oh, no. Let me hit him. the Skag Zag experience. <laughs> Uh, it's working I'm for sorry him. for taking the wind Poor out of his sails, but I can't throw, fucking see. Throw a bullet. There's mm. metal everywhere. Throw a bullet. I'm blind. Uh, <laughs> wait, so the it, fog, it doesn't like, affect him whatsoever. As far as we remember, but I don't know if Skaggs would remember that. Skaggs would probably fog, so you you should fog. No, it'd give me a tier two fog. Fog's all too big. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Upgraded fog. I'm not really feeling the scale on this fog. <laughs> Brett, can we see through the fog when we're in the fog and something else is also in the fog? Or is it obscured from us when we're both it, within the fog? If, if, you are, if you are in the fog, it is obscured. You okay. are... Uh, attacks made against you will be at uh, disadvantage. Any attacks you make will also be at disadvantage if you are in the fog. I see. Double, double protection no, inside of the yeah, fucking bubble in the bubble. <laughs> there we go. Tremor, Tremor will say, "Give me, give me one round, and I'm gonna howl, so you guys all have advantage on your attacks." What the hell are you? What? You're gonna have advantage on my attacks. I'm, I'm gonna freaking howl. <laughs> We've already got a wolf, die. mate. We don't need to freaking no. howl. His howl's <laughs> better. <laughs> all right. It's not better. Yeah, okay. it's not better, mate. All right. Even is Tremor. I don't see his fucking tile. Next to you. There's the fog, mate. Oh. You can't see anyone. I don't want to be all the time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Al, you'll have to move some. Okay, yeah, there we go. Why yeah. did he push me? Why did he that move? All right. Uh, give me a wild magic roll, please. And uh, does that end your round, oh, no. Skagzag? Uh, right after this. Oh! Oh, oh we all die. And all so right. it's, been, it's been so long. It's actually I don't think I've ever rolled a twenty on a wild magic. You have. Oh really? Uh have roll I? uh one D one uh roll two one D one hundreds, please. Oh my goodness. Fuck. Please just go here and there. This could be so good. Or, or so bad. bad. For the really inevitable. Really bad. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Oh, what? 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 And, and with that, you do not get an option. Oh, <laughs> Oh. For the next minute, you can teleport up to 20 feet as a bonus action. Oh my god! <laughs> That's pretty good! 
<laughs> that's like ten yeah. rounds. It's Holy ten shit! Ten rounds pretty of good. fucking skag zag teleport. Teleporting. Oh, oh, I'm over here. Hey, skag I'm over here. Skag I mean, okay, Brett, skag hear zag. me out. Yes. With the crazy RNG of that, can that be a new permanent feature of him? Uh, <laughs> the uh, fact that he rolled two forty fours uh, and a crit. Hey, 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 he already has a thing. Don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, skag no, zag. The, give me a question. Uh, give me a 1d20 roll, please, uh, Skagzag, and then I ask your question, question while you're first. doing that. Uh, roll your 1d20 uh, first, and then ask the one question. 1d20, 20, 20, 25. I will roll for you. Okay. <laughs> got We're not bidding on cows, Eric. Right? Uh, <laughs> this isn't a fucking... We got a 30, 30 dollar. Yeah, right. We got a one dollar. One dollar going one Crandor, you have nine people, so I'm trying to move it along. So what's the question that you have? Um, Can I lucky one of my rolls? Uh, For wild magic? No, you cannot. Dang. All right. It's only D20s. That's mm -hmm. such a waste. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome no, it's Goblin. not. He wants uh, that. All, all right. Uh, model, what are you doing? So I'm, I'm bathed in fog. Uh, right. Also, Skagzag, you can uh, teleport 20 feet as a bonus action, or you can take your movement to move back if you want. Uh, feel free to do that while I'm working with uh, model. Uh, day. Remember to scan, friends. Scan. 30... You scan is not a bonus action, it's a free action, right? That yeah. is correct, but you uh, only no, be... No, I should Cosmo draw instead of yeah, scan. Yeah, we should be drawing. Yeah, oh, yeah, you, you should always do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Always be drawing. Right, so so ABD. Yeah, we'll scan, you guys draw. Should yeah. draw. 60. You already scanned. You already scanned, bud. You scanned, bud. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey. <laughs> hey, okay. <laughs> That's a bad so, draw, anyway. Bad draw. <laughs> so, bonus dash, because I'm rogue or okay. goblin or whatever. Um... Now I can shoot him from here, but I'm going to Cosmo draw first. Okay, Cosmo draw. Uh, 16 is not sufficient. Welp. All right, I'm just going to shoot him then. Okay. With my non-magic bow. Hell yeah! Just no, <laughs> just, well, I might have got his resistance. A 15 is not high enough to break his armor class. Fuck. As the arrow Guys, bounces off his chest plate. <laughs> oh, no. Fought. We knew going in this was going <laughs> to suck. I can't tell which one of you that is from inside the fog. It's He's me, not Maru. recognizing his voice. You've known well. me this whole time. <laughs> yeah, three weeks, Claire. Are you kidding me? It's been like, how long has it been, Brett? I look over at Brett in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the fog. You can't, yeah, you can't. I'm so sorry. The fog is, know. yeah, the fog uh, has blocked your vision. Of, I am my I would, I, Man, if my fucking psychoactive hallucinations include fog, like, <laughs> factoring that in, that's pretty wild. Dude. Yeah, you'll, really you'll, see my, you'll see my goofy head just break through at that point. Um, <laughs> all right, so that ends your round. All right. Uh, yep. Next up is going to be. See what we got here. Uh, all right. So, you will see uh, once again, and by see I mean uh, Al and uh, Model uh, doing the hand motions again, as if it's doing some spell casting. But this one seems to be different, as it is now going to. Brett. Yes. I'm so sorry, I fucked up. I get advantage because I'm an assassin. Uh, if it hasn't taken an action, correct? Yeah, has it taken an action? Yes, it has. Okay. I, I rest my case. <laughs> you win! <laughs> um, <laughs> it seems to cast the spell of... Mm, Al, go ahead and give me an Arcana check. Okay, you got it, Chief. I'm scared. Uh, you see it cast the spell of Scorching Ray. The Scorching Ray will infuse itself into um, right over here. And as it does that, you will see a drive of machinery pop out. Uh-oh. It's casting Scorching Ray somehow through some of its mechanics. Some mechanics. Mechanisms, whatever you call it. I don't study science. What are you? All right. Tremor and Clurt. Uh, which of you would uh, like to go first? Well, Tremor you're would. buffing, right? Tremor. Yeah. All right. Tremor's going to look at everyone and say, I can't see you, but maybe you'll hear me. Oh, 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 oh no, no, no. The fog wouldn't penetrate the uh, thing. So you, you'd be able to see the oh. fog all around us. Well, that's even more awkward. I can yeah. see you. Now hear me too. <laughs> <laughs> and then at a third level, I'll cast Pack of the Wolf. 
So everyone will have advantage within 10 feet of me. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Um, yeah. So, you, and, but if we're in the fog, then it just cancels out uh, to just normal rolls. So, so anyone within two blocks of you. Basically. Yeah, correct. Not yeah. Me. <laughs> but I can also move to wherever I need to be. So, mm -hmm. you know. Whoever's uh, going to be attacking. Yeah, Kraken, I'm thinking I'm going to Cosmo draw into that thing. Into that thing? Okay, yeah, I was going to Cosmo draw on him. One of um, us Cosmo draw on him, the other one Cosmo draw into that thing. We need to find out what which. those do. <laughs> you got well, the same bonus. I don't know if I can see him because of the fucking fog now. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is correct. Can I Cosmo draw the computer? Uh, yes, you can. All right. Trem uh, Tremor. As you activate your Cosma draw for the first time. Oh, no. You feel yourself go through a horrific transformation. Oh. As you step back, before. you begin to grow oh. as if you were turning into a giant. Your face oh. begins to peel off oh. as muscle mass begins to build within you. So, okay. Welcome to the club, man. Yeah. This is what it's like to use yeah, this fucking yeah, baby. nerd ability. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the club. It is at this point that uh, for a full round, you will take the form of oh, Cosma. Hold on. You will take the form of Cosma Tremor. As you then oh. lift up and extend yourself, holding Holy the shit. blade. Oh my god! Oh god! god. Energy, oh, energy and energy of the Lich King. Energy of Cosma will boost into you. You look like schoolboy office. I Jeez. love that oh, boy. <laughs> biting his hand. Look at that sword. Yeah, that sword like, biting his hand. Chew it on cool. your fingies. That's yeah, very, very fucking cool. That's how we hold it. It's just eating him. <laughs> So, uh, for the, until the beginning, uh, your round has now reset completely, uh, until the beginning of your next round, you have temporary hit points equal to your current hit points. Um, so you're able to do what you want from there. And in addition to that, roll two, you may either have a mana battery uh, for your party, but not you of, uh, 2d4 spell slots. Or you can give yourself oh, wow. a mana bear, uh, a mana banner. A, bleh, sorry, a mana battery of one d four spell slots. Do Definitely use... for the party. Okay. Um, yeah, with the amount of people we have, sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, you, yeah. uh, you will not be able to tap into that on your own, though. Is the thing. That's fine. Okay. Roll two d four. All right, guys. So nice. you wow. now have a total of uh, six spell slots, which means you can tap into that. If you have a fourth level spell, for example, you can tap into that that mana slot and take away four from it. You can cast a little one Ooh. magic and cast into it. However, I you think. all want to wish as a party. But you now have. Do we split them amongst us. Yes. That is decided amongst, amongst you. Us. That is correct. Um, I can't see <laughs> right now, Brett. I think it's because. Oh yeah, I'm, I was uh, I was still uh, giving you vision. My apologies. Uh, here we go. Well, boom and details, making sure. Icky. Oh, also. Hey, welcome to the club, man. <laughs> welcome to the club. We do this all the time. <laughs> this is just another Friday uh, night. This is a normal Wednesday night. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I had to I had to keep this uh, turned off so that you didn't see it in the journal. So I'm gonna do the following. You got a bad rap though, with no lips. <laughs> no way to talk now. And your nose. Yeah. My nose. <laughs> when, when I when I do it, I get to keep my face. My face. I'm glad that your, <laughs> glad that your school uniform hasn't torn. Those things are so expensive. They're uh, so flexible. Uh, have you, uh, Kraken? Can you see now? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. You have a full round of action. Okay. Well, first of all, can we resolve the Cosmo draw of twenty-two? Uh, or... the co that was the resolution for this okay. for this first time was your transformation. Uh, okay. And this is only one round. That is correct. Okay. How far can I move? Uh, you can move up to your. Uh, other than that, you're you're able to move as normal. 
you got the mana battery you've got a temporary uh hp boost currently and uh you're stable to reach him because of the fog now uh uh, how does it work when you're this size, though, for movement? Is it like, is yeah, you, this five you, you, feet? You're able to move over people. Yep. So, like, this is five feet? Or is that... Oh, no. So, so this is five feet. Okay, five feet. Yep. Can I check to see how my abilities have changed at all? Or are they is it uh, just a temporary health? It's the temporary health and the mana barrier. That's uh, that's what the Cosmo forms. The Cosmo forms gives you one buff essentially that 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 goes off at that point while you're in the form, and it gives you a temporary hit point barrier for a round. It's not a permanent transformation. It's just a temporary mm. buff. Okay. And you get a full round action of action again. So, um, well, that does change my strategy a little bit. Uh, I guess. If I have this mana barrier, I might as well use it. So, can I? Wait, fuck. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Now it's still in the fog. Um, I'm going to misty step, I guess. Okay. Uh, over here. Mm -hmm. You peek out of the, the fog. You are no longer under the uh, negative effect of it. Uh, and then I hit him with my bitey sword. Okay. And I'm going to cause him a draw as well. Okay. So I'll cause him a draw first. Mm -hmm. uh, with a 28, oh you are able to tap into uh, the Cosmo draw abilities. What would you like to use? Frick yeah. Um, I'm going to get rid of... Let's see, sorry, I'm pulling the list back up again. No worries. I will also pin it for you guys. So you can reference it easier. Joe, are you gonna update the one that you have right now? Like when we do stuff? Update what oh yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, as we go. Can I do granny removal? Uh or do I need a 30 for that? Yeah, the granny removal was specifically for the critical construct. Shoot. Okay. We're going to have to work up to that then. Um, but I will let you know that it may open up later. Okay. Uh, you know what? Man, I so I can't gather information about any of these, right? I just have to pick one randomly? That is or correct. Like, you know, okay, okay. You have to go uh, with your gut. Gang, how do we feel about lower movement now that we know that he moves his full movement to do the execution thing if we're trying to... Well, unless he's that in his I feel... phase for that, it's not too big of a deal. I kind of want to know what I want to expose his weaknesses. The sooner we get to those, the sooner we can mm. start dishing out big spells. We want that to do damage. Yeah, yeah sure. we okay. know that. We, we right. know that. Yeah. Let's do expose weakness. Okay. You apply uh, an exposed weakness. So, a uh, new mechanic of combat is uh, vulnerability stacks. What this allows you to do um, after you determine that a spell has either successfully or failed to go off and damage to be dealt, you may decide to spend one of the creature's vulnerability stacks. This will allow that damage source to deal double damage. Mm. So Yo. do I get to pick the source of damage or? Uh, y so y it's not necessarily that uh, you get to pick it. Anyone gets to pick it. So mm -hmm. let's let's say, for example, Joe cast a fireball uh, and before it rolling damage and determining that he failed the saving throw, Joe can then be like, I will spend that one vulnerability stack that's on the creature so that this fireball deals double damage. So you will actually it, get to determine when to use the vulnerability stack. Is it before you roll the damage? That is correct. Just okay. for the record, uh, uh, just for all you guys, I can cast a ninth level lightning bolt. Or we can? Yes. You actually, I thought you were that joking about that. No, I have, a, I have a wand that can do that. Uh, it's not exactly <laughs> the most damage effective, but if we can get advantage no, on that with like weakness, Lightning Bolt that would be off. fucking yeah. If you're so if you stand ninth next to me, yeah. you get the ninth the level. But it might destroy my wand. <laughs> if I yeah, do that uh, one, it might destroy you use my all the charges. Well, we might want to lower his a his save first yeah. because I think that's a save. Dex I'm, save I'm just right? saying that's like a huge yeah. nuke we have. That's a great idea. Save that mm -hmm. until afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So, so yeah, there's a variety of things in combat that will apply vulnerability stacks to the creature, and it gives you a, a resource to plot and plan uh, when you want to do big damage. Okay. Dude, that's, 50, that's 15d6. Yes, that's fucking huge. 
And that'd be 30 D6. I can, I, I can do that, or I can cast uh, seven normal level three lightning bolts in a row. Oh, and that'd be more damage. Yeah, but the thing is, like, it we don't have time. Oh, I have advantage. Of weakness. That, that is correct. Weakness. That is correct. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I thought you meant at once. The 23 yeah. strikes true. All right. And I think this is the damage of it. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it didn't pop up. Also, this... if, you, if you click in roll 20, it should tell you. Oh, okay. Uh, Brett, another question about that vulnerability thing. If, say, he's under an effect, say he's stood in fire and someone did a fire spell on him, would he take double damage from the fire he's already in as well? Or is it uh, only for that one it is, it is one damage source. So okay. if you're doing like multiple attacks, it's only one attack. It's, it's right. things like that. You have to specifically, before the damage roll, be like, I'm spending a vulnerability stack to double this damage. Um, so this 11. is also, yeah. Uh, so you would be two handed swinging uh, with that sword. Is that correct? Yeah. I mean, I don't okay. have a shield, so. No worries. Um, all right. So you go ahead and swing. Uh, I think that's it. I think that's all I got. I look back at the others and I go. Ugh. <laughs> uh misty step is a bonus action is that correct yep all right you still have a move if you wish to use it um but you are or are you ending your turn well i am in front of it and i don't really want to take it up of a opportunity attack so i hmm. didn't do one last time though. i didn't do it last time i also have some padding health so See. I, I want to ask a dumb question really bad. Well, actually, <laughs> ask it, dude. There's you no guys, questions in hey, school. Brett. Yes. Since uh, Kraken's technically in Cosma sort of deal, mm -hmm. would that in any way apply to our total Cosma charge? Thing no, it does group? not. It, it doesn't. Re it, it, this it, this is just an effect, just to show the effects of Cosma okay. that he's at. It does not reduce yours. Okay. Oh, I meant like I meant building up our oh, charge, not uh, reducing. Yes. I meant it, building. Oh yes, absolutely. You are at six charges right now. Okay. Um, there are who's no gonna attack next, and who needs advantage? Because I'm I want to move towards you, even if I take an attack of opportunity. I uh, uh, I just I just want to let you guys know there are no dumb questions. Ask as many as you want. This is an extremely dangerous fight, and I am not afraid to kill anyone during this battle. Where did goblin babies come from? <laughs> anyway, where are you from, the honey? <laughs> no. <laughs> is anyone going? I I, I mean, I'll move up closer to you, probably. But you're not uh, doing a attack roll, right? Attacking. Okay. No. Um, in that case, uh, I'm just gonna step into the freaking fog. And if he wants to hit me, he's gonna do so at disadvantage. Okay. The construct does not take an opportunity mm. attack. Fifteen. Uh, twenty. I'm gonna stand there. That's All it. Right. It's my turn. So, um, man, I do really want to hook into that thing, gang. That thing, that thing. I sort of want to hook into that thing. <laughs> yeah, that's that yeah, thing, can, dude. But, uh, it will be, I will have to dash to see out of the fog to see it, courtesy of, uh, the Skagzag boys. <laughs> Did you see it before the fog? No, problem. no. It wasn't no, <laughs> so Clint doesn't know it's there. Uh, yeah, but I would pro if I get to there, I would probably see it logically and i can reach that so i'm gonna move behind skagzag okay i'm gonna sort of shove you out of the way skagzag because i don't even see you in the fog i oh, shove yeah, you out of the true. way i see model over there alone <laughs> hello hey model and then Hi. i'm gonna look over at i actually I, I guess i wouldn't see the inevitable i would just see the glowing pylon yes you is would is that sort of what that is brett like uh it, it, it looks to be like um Almost like a server or hard drive that you would have seen uh, within the Cosma uh, mine station that you were at. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna draw that thing. I'm okay. gonna draw that thing. Mm -hmm. An 18 is insufficient. <laughs> yeah, I'd <gasps> like to see. I'd like to see me not fucking lucky on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to. I'd like to. I'd like you to try to not give me the lucky oh. on that. All right. Uh, so. Every two rounds, that machine will cast a Scorching Ray at second level. You can use the Cosma Draw if you'd like to, for one time only, delay an additional round. 
Well, we're all stacked like idiots currently inside of a big line of fog. So yeah, I'm going to delay it. This <laughs> Cause I feel like he's going to shoot it into the big fog cloud that the big <laughs> tremor just can't went into. I mean, the scorching ray is only one target. It doesn't. Oh, I thought it was leave. a line thing. It's uh, I mean, it's, it's three rays. Three rays. Yeah. yeah. Three rays. Well, I've already, I don't see why I wouldn't do it when I've already done it. Right. Like I've already done the draw. There's no, there's yeah. no alternative mm -hmm. to me not delaying it around. That is correct. So yeah, I will delay it this round. Yeah, might oh, well. Might well. Okay. Because yeah, I, I couldn't have gotten into range of the inevitable this turn anyways because of uh, the fog. I wouldn't be able to see him nor the... Actually, I guess I could have gotten... Eh, All right. The Scorching Ray on this machine machinery uh, is been has been delayed for one round. In addition, uh, just so you know, uh, this is something that can be targeted and dealt damage to. Um, the Cosmo Draw would let you know that as well. It has right, its own right. stat blocks. Uh, stat block. And uh, just to be clear for my positioning, uh, because of the fact that the fog is, you know, all in front of me, the inevitable can't see me directly from this location, right? You are like, visibly with his eyes. You are unaware uh, either way of that. Right. If it can or can't, you can only come to your own conclusions. Well, I come to the conclusion that I'd be bullshit if he could, Brett. <laughs> All right, and uh, I'm I have, frankly I have nothing else to do. I'm sort of saving my moves, gang, uh, for when there's less fog mm -hmm. specifically. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on this one. All right, that ends your round. Yeah. It is now the inevitable's turn. Oh no! It's it looks around. it looks towards the fog, watching tremor descend into it and with heavy footsteps <laughs> the fog does nothing it will stare directly at tremor ineffected by the fog as it immediately with the speed of a bullet slams its arm back behind it and immediately grab for Tremor's throat as a needle Ooh. tries to extract within him. All right. Ooh. We're going to go A needle hand? A needle hand. Well, a hand, and then you feel up the pierce. This is the familiar piercing of a needle, but this one is familiar. more <laughs> aggressive. The old familiar sting. <laughs> <laughs> a needle bears a hole. Brings me back to the Arcane Academy days. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, okay. So with that, does a 26 <gasps> yep, break your armor So class. he doesn't even take disadvantage on the fog? That is correct. Hey, Stag Zag, oh. stop the fog on your turn. Yeah? Uh, all right, all right, all right. So uh, <laughs> your, your hit points is doubled, technically correct with the... Uh, yeah. All right, so you have... I got well, 50. I also got. 10. I have 60 temporary hit points right now. Okay. 10 um, hit points and stat. Yeah, temporary hit points replaces if there's a bigger source. Yeah, so, but you will right. get you, but you will get your 10 back once you revert. So yes, you do have 50 at this point. All right, gang. Let's see what happens. Fog is concentration. So can you just drop it? Not on yep. your turn. It has I, to be on this turn. It has to be on his turn. But yes, he can drop it whenever at that point. Oh, concentration. Yeah. Is there is there a rule for concentration where you can just drop it in the middle of someone's turn? I thought it, I thought it had to be on their turn. I, I don't know. Yeah. I've never ever ever lost concentration. Since it took yeah, like yeah, effort yeah. to keep it up to keep it up, you can do it I thought you could do it anytime. Oh, okay, yeah. At that point, at that point, then yeah, I'm, I'm perfectly <laughs> fine with that. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, it takes no action apparently. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no action. Yeah, that that it's I did now. Turn yet. I can't do anything. <laughs> Uh, you can do, uh, well, you can uh, do it. You can drop fog. You can drop fog whenever, uh, even in the middle uh, of someone's no turn. Action required. All right, oh. I'll drop the fog. If nobody likes a my tear fog. falls from my <laughs> fucking eye. Dude, you inhale your fog. Uh, I've never seen you Skag Zag all, drop a fog. You all at that point see the horrifying <laughs> view as the inevitable is draining the power, uh, from, oh, God. from Tremor, dealing 79 oh, points of oh, true damage. Oh, my God. So hmm. your 50 goes down uh, and you lose 29 hit points from your from your base. We're not okay. I'm just going to well, hey, I mean, if that hit anyone I else, mean, they'd that, be that super is dead. The, that was still, the best he is, execution. He is still alive. Oh, okay. So his, his, his hit points did That's not drop to zero. Outcome. That was actually the best possible. Yeah. yeah. Since his hit we need to get rid of that thing, though. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah we gotta kill this guy, guys. Let's no, no, no. I'm talking about the execution, execution round. round. Yeah, we need to not have that yeah, at the no, end. I was of the talking round. about just killing him. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, we want to do that too, dude. So he doesn't get the bonus power. That is power correct. From you that is correct because you are still standing. Great. That would have been bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would have been really bad. nice job out there, Tremor. <laughs> You're doing fine. Oh His wait! Leaking. Wait, <gasps> Brett. Yes, Brett. Yes. End of my turn. We didn't resolve my zombie. Yep. Uh, so what would your zombie do? I would have ran in him in front of me. That was his whole purpose. Okay. All right. All right. Time what do you have gone for the zombie the instead? Next time. All right. So. Stood on. So. I will allow it, uh, but make sure you you keep that up to date because right. once I'm actions sorry. are yeah, uh, once actions are well, he wasn't in his initiative order, so I didn't think about he it. He usually but. isn't. It, it's so usually with minions like that, it just go always goes at the end of it. So, but like I said, that now that we know, that will yeah. happen oh, again. You're a time mage. Uh, well, in that case, then the <laughs> entire the he would just look over at the zombie and uh, yeah, do the same thing. Completely execute your zombie oh, at that point no. in time. Yes, no. we're, we're gonna get paid for that. Yeah, we're gonna get fucking paid for tossing yeah. <laughs> tossing Again. its lifeless corpse over there. Uh, you have lost <laughs> no. the use of your zombie. What what ability has he gained from uh from that? You would being not a know. shitty bard. Is he more handsome now? <laughs> being shit. Being shit. It should actually weaken. I, I've got that ability. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. And he will do a little bit of healing from that. Okay. Uh, at the top of the round, Ansem had nine health left. By the way. So. Oh no, oh. I, I, I am, I'm aware. Um, at the top of the round, the inevitable will cast a spell. Uh, actually, no, will not cast a spell. My apologies. It will hold out its hands, and you will see. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> uh Zahani, it is now your turn. Oh Z Zahani and Zahani and Pikel. Uh so determine yes. who 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 you would like to go turns. first. Uh you go. You go. <laughs> oh <laughs> bloody hell. I guess I'll go. Okay, Pikel, you go. Ones. That's fine, I'll go. Um I'll stop being polite, it's fine. Um so <laughs> I should cause him and draw and choose something, yes? First and foremost. Agrah him. 23. Nice. All right. Well, 23 tonight is crazy. What would yeah. you like what would you like to draw? Um I think let's see. AC say Yeah, I'm gonna lower AC for our physical attack boys. Okay. Uh it's AC will drop. Okay. Uh, it has gained a permanent debuff to its AC. Perfect. Um, let's see. Wait. And then... <laughs> uh, I don't know if I should attack these things or it. It's on um, three, right? Well, he said that they could be killed. These Looks like things. they're the ad thing. And while so while you think of that, Sahani, do you know what you want to do? Uh, yes. First, I just want to arcane check Cam. Okay. And then I'll oh, check back 17. on you, Pico. Uh, nice. seventeen. Uh, will be high enough. What would you like to oh. learn? Um. Oh, uh, let's just let's just see what powerful creature is. Okay. So. Uh, Lagos, the inevitable fate, is a powerful creature. What this means wow. is it has multiple rounds. Uh, let me oh, actually read this there. There it goes. A uh, powerful creature. Uh, Lagos, the inevitable fate, has uh, four initiative rounds concentration, action, build up, and execution. Since this is already uh, knowledge that you've already learned, you may scan for something else. Oh, thank God. I was going to say that's a fucking waste. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Thanks, DM. I'm going to take Assimilated Power. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> the fun part. Assimilated Power. Lagos, the inevitable fate, has the spellcasting ability of a level 8 sorcerer, wizard, and bard. 
In addition, oh, it is fuck. able to heal itself as it is as if it was casting oh, cure wounds god. at fourth level. Oh my god. Wait, Wait so did, you, that, did you say it's got it's a, it's the equivalent to a level eight, or it can cast up to eighth level? Uh, as a, a the equivalent eight. of a level eight spellcaster, so up Guys, to that level. Three types fucking okay. sleep. Yeah. And you can cast cure wounds up to what, sorry? Uh, a, 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 as a uh, four, a, as a fourth level slot. So four D eight plus nine is mm -hmm. a fourth level cure wounds. Uh, you could the you could theorize that is the day magic that is coursing within him. Granny. I could theorize. That. I could. Granny. All we have to do is uh, get a nat twenty on another cosmic drug. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, with my action, I'm gonna polymorph into monkey. All out right. of the thing though, so it doesn't break it. All right. I don't think it breaks it, but that's. Uh, but said any larger creatures will oh, stop I, it. Oh, I see. Hut. Smart, smart, smart. Thanks, bud. <laughs> Donkey Kong noise. Mm. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, bro. I think we should get rid of these things, honestly, because that's each of them is level two scorching ray. You could summon three each time. Yeah. They're gonna build up. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna shatter uh, right here on my next turn, just start blasting everything at once. Yeah, do AoE. All right, you have a move <laughs> action remaining. Dahana. I can't see. Uh oh, hold on. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> this always happens with monkey. No, it's John, okay. Uh, there you go. Um, and I'll, I'll just fix that stay right here. Okay. And now your token will always be able to see. Okay. <gasps> Um, Pikel, what are you doing? I have to step out of the bubble to cast. Is that right? Uh, that is correct. Okay. Um, okay. I'm going to try to guiding bolt Dyson. Okay. Nope. That is a critical miss. Oh, love Back that for in me. business, Pikel. Uh, every session. <laughs> <laughs> every <laughs> session. Um, yep. As my bonus action, I will cast Spiritual Weapon near um, this guy. Unfortunately, you cannot because of you already cast a level spell. Wait, what? Guiding Bolt. You can't it, cast two spells. Yeah, you can't cast two oh, numbered spells around. Shit. You got any cantrips? Not that I can use in tandem with this spell. Shit. Think, yeah. Well, then I'm done. Oh. Um, I'm gonna move back in the bubble. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this. All right. Uh, Cheezle. It is now uh, Cheezle and Duckazon's turn. Uh, Duckazon, go ahead and plan for what you'd like to do. Cheezle, what are you doing? <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna run right there. Okay. And I'm gonna attack. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna Cosmo Draw, is what I'm gonna do. Okay. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Actually, oh, you know what? Oh, no. yeah. <laughs> Second thought, nah. Nah, I changed my mind. All right. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure all these rolls will go great then. Okay. <laughs> Let's do this thing. I get two attacks. One. Mm -hmm. Yep, so far so great. Uh, the second one hits, creating a spiritual sword at your side. Hey, go spiritual sword. Whack him. That also Ooh. hits. Nice. As your sword hey, Another one? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it just keeps getting smaller and smaller. Uh, that does not, yeah, that does create like a tinier sword in the corner. No, no. Um, all right. You strike true twice. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Uh, there is nothing else I'd like to do. Nice oh, job, Jesus. Hell oh, yeah. Later. Oh. Legend. All right. Duck is on. What are you doing? Um, I would like to scan Arcana check. Okay. That is separate from the construct check, oh, yeah. right? Uh, uh, you have, it's you one have or the other. One or the you other. have to choose either or. Okay. Um. Then I will fly up to him. You can also use the consoles, right? That is correct. Not, not if I want to remove Granny. Ooh. I assume she's going in. She's <laughs> she's going, going in. in. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Get that nanny oh, out yeah. of there. <laughs> okay. Evacuate wait, nan. Wanna, you still have, you still have guidance, by the way, because it's concentration. Oh, I used it, so it's gone. Oh, yeah, you did. But I will construct check. Okay. A 12 is <laughs> insufficient. Oh, okay. Mm. Um, I will fly back. <laughs> and I will... Uh, 
before I enter the bubble, I will cast Catapult at the third level to launch my gravity orb at him. Okay. Yeah. Bad gravity damage. orb. <laughs> Gra gravity orb? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, 36 bludgeoning. Let me go ahead and make that dexterity Holy saving fuck. throw. Everyone. Oh, you rolled three eights and two sixes. That's six. a lot. Yeah. yeah. Yo. All right. He tries to step over to the side. A very lumbering machine with a seven fails, taking <gasps> 36 points of bludgeoning. Well, that's his deck save. That's really yes. good. Mm -hmm. yeah, I figured that would, if any of them, that would be the one yeah. weakness. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does that end your round? I'll just double check my movement, but yeah, that's my round. Okay. We probably want to chuck some buffs on Duckazone for construct checks. Yeah. Or anyone that can Cosmo draw. Yeah, just any attempt is best. If we can like negate everything, that'd be really sweet. Um, I will give you control of this so you can move your orb around. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Yeah, she's where you would have the orb. The orb would probably have hit, and you can just have it five feet. And anywhere. then, yeah, I would, I would bonus action throw it back a little. Okay. Um, can you make it a little smaller? It's kind of big. Yeah, I could do that for you. It's uh, like a marble. It's like a giant. Mar it's like a five foot marble. That's a bowling ball at this point. <laughs> Did somebody have a marble they just dropped? Yeah. All right. There you go. Does that work? Perfect. Uh, all right, I'm perfect. It's not centered, DM. It's I'll... fine. It can be there. <laughs> it uh, it won't be centered, unfortunately. No. It's of the way it sticks to the grid. All right. At the end of Duckazon's turn, the inevitable will now go. Uh, holding out his hand, will cast a magic missile. Hitting the following. One, two, three, four. Okay. Here we go. So, uh, blah, 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 blah. uh, Cheezle, you'll take two points of damage. Tremor will take four points of damage. That'll hit the temp HP. Skagzag will take five points of damage. Ooh. And Model will take three points of damage. Yeah. Oh, no. Folks that have my temp HP, remember to put it into that first. All right. So, with that, can uh, I half the damage of three to one why uh for your you want to use your reaction? reaction yes you can i'm gonna save that in case he fucking kills you <laughs> yeah i don't want to okay sorry three to one's a bit ridiculous As well, say, yes when it if he has to do a save at the end of each of his turns does that happen on every single initiative round turn or is it just on one uh, if it is an ongoing effect that requires additional saves he only has to make that save once once, but okay. Mm -hmm. And then... Yeah, he will at that point go again. At a disadvantage, he will hold out his hand over to Model. As a beam of necrotic energy surges forth from him. Oh my god. Uh, I remember no. when that blasted me the first time. I, I need to save my reaction. Dexterity saving throw, please. It hurts like hell, model. For clench your, clench your I, glutes. Can I do it, Brett? Can I do the thing <laughs> that I've never used yet? Which is? Evasion. Can I do evasion? Is this so an evasion deck uh, save? Uh, so yes, evasion, it, it always happens if it is a it safe or half. Works. It automatically yes. happens. Yeah, you don't have to declare nice. it. But it didn't work on like other deck stuff. Well, the only other deck stuff is when you had to make dexterity saves for effects that had no damage, okay. in which case evasion. Oh. All evasion does is there. Yeah, so Looks because like yeah, nice. because of your 24, no e e instead of taking the half damage you normally would have taken, you would take no damage. That is correct. Yay. I backflipped it, dude. Wow, okay. he's agile. Oh. Agile. All oh. right. Uh, model and Aldoris, you go next. Al, begin thinking of what you'd like to do. And model, what do you do? Uh, am I allowed to let Aldoris go first? You are allowed to do that if Al already yeah, knows what I he's think, doing. I think you should go first because mine's going to be very basic shooting. Okay. I'm going to do an Arcana to begin with. Okay. A 26 is high enough. What would you like to know? 
Uh, let's go for the... Let's go for the adaptive barrier. All right. I was hoping you would ask that. Adaptive no, you said you told me in your DM, you said... But, yeah, yeah I did. I was, I was like, ask adaptive barrier. Uh, yeah. At the top of the round, Lagos, the inevitable fate, gains plus one AC. Every two rounds, Lagos, the inevitable fate, also gains plus one to all saving throws. This effect hmm. doesn't happen if it has dealt 30 points of radiant damage from the previous round. Radiant. Ah. Mm. Oh, I cool. hate radiant damage. Uh, yeah. That means we should do Operation Lightning Strike as soon as possible. <laughs> <laughs> All guiding bolts from Pickel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Changed up a tiny little bit of what I want to do. So if you want to go now, Mottle, just want to double check something. Uh, that, yeah. Oh, I mean, my, a okay. quick question. Uh, mm -hmm. You said that after three successful checks, we learned its health, right? Uh, that is correct. You are able to now scan specifically for um, meta knowledge, if you so wish. But you still have to complete the successful the, the uh, okay. scan check. Okay. I should use my turn to draw there, because yeah. Uh, I'm going to oh. start drawing. Okay. I'm not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't get those Cosmo rolls. Uh, all right. Um, it, it, so, yeah, Giselle's in, in melee range, so I can get sneak attack. I'm going to shoot my bow at its face. Okay. That's per huge, Brett. Okay. Um, that hits. Nice. That strikes That's true. Bow. Also, as a friendly reminder, he does have uh, the vulnerability stack. You're applying the sneak attack, is that correct? Yeah. All right. You take two points of acid as the acid damage splashes back upon you with that roll of a Delicious. one. Uh, but he will take 17 points of damage. As the arrow strikes at the circuitry, it sparks as you hear the gears just eat, just at that point, just tear and eat at the bolt. Uh, do you move at all or take um, a bonus action? I move and bonus action to hide. Okay. Feel free to do so. You can do a hide Hold check. Uh, Al, yep, that's correct. Uh, Al, what are you, what's your action? What are you doing? I'm going to fly my head inside of him. Mm -hmm. And then through the head, it's the final spell I can cast through the head. Uh huh. I am going to try and channel Phantasmal Killer, but draw upon... Uh, crap. A sickening radiance to turn it to radiant damage. And I'm going to mm. attempt to tap into his fears by showing him, um, I'm going to show him Cosmicara winning and the school mm. failing and everything getting destroyed and he has to do a wisdom saving throw. All right. Uh, because of such precise point of attacks with everything going with you, uh, this creature will make a wisdom saving throw at a disadvantage. Oh, shit. Nice. <laughs> So, let me go ahead and check to see. Uh, that's a 14. Does that already fail your saving throw? That fails. Oh, yes. right. yeah. So, nice. he takes... Oh, oh, that's a bad roll this time, but it's okay for now. <laughs> oh. uh, 13 points of radiant damage. damage. Oh, nice. And he is, if he can be, he's considered frightened of me. Okay. He is, right. he is immune to frightened abilities because oh, of the that, <laughs> that would be so good to cancel the execution round so we can't move yeah. towards you. Yeah, oh that's, what God, yeah. that's what I was really hoping. That's a good idea. Because um, I could just hide oh. in there. But I can still do that damage every time if he's failing his saving throws. Nice. nice. All right. Uh, do you move it all, Al? Now I'm going to leave my head inside of him. <laughs> okay. Just, just be aware that if we go with my lightning move, I'm probably going to end up hitting your head. Because I'm going to no, 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 head, it up. Head, head's, head's invulnerable, invulnerable to damage. Oh, he's invulnerable? Because yeah. if I do the lightning thing, I'm going to line it up with as many of these things as I can. Absolutely. Yeah. Head, All... Head's okay, dude. All right. Uh, yeah, ending that round, it is now uh, Skagzag. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, Skagzag. Uh, what do you do as well? I'm so used to two, I, I forgot there was three for this one. Uh, Skagzag, what do you cast? Uh, let's see. I will... I'll try and uh, hit him with a catapult. Okay. Nice. <laughs> do you oh, catapult the gravity orb that Takasan was using? <laughs> <laughs> now, how much does that thing weigh? Uh, it's, well, it's, it's specifically uh, molded for a uh, catapult spell, so... Oh. So whatever level you put it to, it'll do it. All right. So I'm a, I'm just gonna use a fourth level catapult on. Okay. Damn. 
Give him your business, Skag Zag. I massage your shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, Skag Zag. Kill it. <laughs> cool. Nice. All right. Dexterity saving throw. Such good damage. That is a mm -hmm. failure. He will take 27 points of bludgeoning damage as the machinery continues to be rattled and slammed about. <laughs> and there Let's it is. Get that rating out there. <clears throat> Cosmodrop. <laughs> I feel a sudden urge to. He, he was coming. He was going to do it too. Uh, Thirteen is insufficient. We need seventeen more points of radiant. I'm gonna teleport here. Okay, as a bonus action, you're able to do that. Nice. Yeah, I'm not even gonna just move to get away from Clum. Teleport. I mean, I'm going that way. So if he's teleporting, <laughs> get away from me. <laughs> no, I just wanted to teleport. It's like when you both walk the same way to your car. Yeah. Yeah, but you already said goodbye, so it's like oh. over here. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so at that point, uh, the inevitable will go, uh, and we'll cast a spell. Anyone that could see him, you're able to do an Arcana check. Anyone? Well, any any uh, any spellcaster can. Oh, nice. Oh. I'm technically, I'm do technically a not right now. <laughs> I really hope that all these low rolls Damn, we all know. Kill is getting me and she's going to get some crazy I'm ones. Terrified. <laughs> I know. I, I either get crits or fails. So no in between. Um, yeah. uh, the inevitable will cast the spell of fireball, placing oh, it upon this thing. It comes oh, that's going to... Yo, gorilla! On this <laughs> Rip that thing out! <laughs> No, 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 this one. <laughs> no, this, this one. one. <laughs> no, other one, other one. Uh, oh. This one is. <laughs> that one is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, it is now uh, Tremor. At that point in time, you'll revert back to your normal form. The mana barrier, or the mana battery, of course, still stays. You still have the six spell slots. Uh, but, uh, but, yeah. Does that stay, like, forever till we've used them? For that, is cor that is correct. Okay. Oh, just want to make sure. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Now that does stay uh, forever. Okay. Right. So, oh, bam. And does my face grow back? Your face does grow back. <laughs> Yay. Uh, okay. It is now Tremor and Clert's turn. Decide uh, which order you guys like to go to. Doesn't matter if you want to go first. Tremor. I think we should both cause Madrata to lower his save so you can blow him the fuck up. I agree. I agree. All right. Cooperative Cosmodra! I combine my Cosmodra with you! I also you. combine my Cosmodra with you! <laughs> oh my god! Well, uh, Clurnt, they're combining your Cosmodras! Clurnt, your Cosmodra doesn't break through, but Tremors, <laughs> yours does. I lower his save! Alright, his saves are dropped. Do it, Clurnt! I, I believe in you! <laughs> <laughs> I. Oh boy. So, first, I'm gonna move 30 feet. Let me check this. Okay, I can, I can do a five foot wide ray for the lightning bolt. I'm just making sure I line myself up because I might as well get one of these things while I'm here. Uh, also, um, I'm going to cast Unsettling Words on the Inevitable before okay. I do this. So okay. he will be, he will have a 1d8 subtracted from his saving roll mm. if he succeeds. Okay. I am then, while he's, so he, right now he is vulnerable to lightning then yeah that's what we're going with it's uh, whatever uh, damage whatever we hit him with next. if yeah. you are spending the stack yes before you're rolling the damage are you spending the stack are we yeah can it i, I reckon well, the only other way that we get more no. out of this is if we spend another turn and let me get over there so i can get all the just just so you know the vulnerability stack is like a token you spend your token yeah. to do double damage and then after I'm, that the token is spent worth it. all i'm thinking is that like if we spend one more turn i can get that would be hits. really good i can kill like, all really, four of those really on my next good. turn or i could dash and get there now but it'll still be next turn before i can actually mm -hmm. you know do the. you might as well wait if it's gonna okay. do that Okay, so I guess do something else for your cosmic. I guess do something else. Yeah, do something else, and we'll cooperatively <laughs> do it again next time. All right, yeah, see you next time. Next time. Uh, oh, wait, right after this, he's going to execute your buddy. Is that... Are you uh, aware of that? He's been executed before. <laughs> He'll be okay, fine. you're taking this very well. <laughs> He'll be fine. <laughs> the amount of times Cheezle has died. Oh, At this God. point, he's immortal. He always bounced back, yeah. He always bounces oh, back. I'm not he done with my turn. I'm just, I'm just letting one. you go first right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm deciding. Uh, 
I can try. I don't think the, this thing is poisonable, so I don't think that's going to be helpful. Um, try bestowing a curse. I'm trying to think of anything I can do to make it harder for him to hit with that execute. Um, hmm. Uh, okay, well... You could impede movement. Yeah, we yeah, already used our... Uh, okay. Yeah, we could... The fourth level. Oh, fuck, but Cheezle's already up there. It's, uh, what... what I'm gonna say is that, um, if you can do something that's going to use a saving throw for him, that'd be best, because I'm gonna probably cast Shatter, and he's already gonna have disadvantage on that, so it'd be a waste of my Bardic... Mm. Is it at that point? Radius? So if you do something that can make him incur a roll anyways, that'd be better bang for okay. my... Did you do it there, Tremor? Uh, like on the bottom of that, what my little brown rectangle? Nice Isn't rectangle. Isn't it wide? Thanks, man. I drew it myself. Five, nice. Thirty. I could go here and then actually hit this one as well. It would hit our gobbo friend though, um, unless I. It would also potentially rupture this glass and fucking oh, send God. us all into space. Yeah, we need so... to be careful. You know, the glass not all of us. Broken? <laughs> it's broken up here, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, it is, is the barrier broken. holding? Okay, mm -hmm. so the, it, okay. The, the barrier wouldn't be affected by the magic that I would cast. Correct. Okay. Um, cool. In that case, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Um, can I cast Seismic Wave mm -hmm. uh, at, at an angle? Mm-hmm. That would hit these two and him. Mm, yes, I would allow that. Okay. All uh, right. If you want to draw that line. Yeah. Let me do, I think it would be something like, like, like this. That would then go into like this. So you got that rotate. Like angle go. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. And it would hit this one and also oh. keep it. It goes all the way. Um, mm, that's like gonna it's be very long. Yeah, that, I was say that's gonna be ch challenging to like get the. Oh boy, to hit both of them. Hmm. How would you see that it would hit both of them? Diagonally like this. Oh, like that, like something like this. Okay. Uh. Oof. Uh. Okay. Yeah, I'll allow that. So imagine like you're you know playing pool and you like kind of lean on the table and like shoot yeah, behind yeah. your back. That's kind of how I'm imagining this. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh. Yeah, so, yeah, exactly. It would go like that. Okay. Um, And, yeah. Okay, go ahead and roll Sorry, the damage. Did you add that to the thing yet? I still have not. I do apologize about that. I even made a note of it, so I will make sure to extra do that next time. I am so sorry okay. about that. Uh, uh, do you remember how much damage it was then? Yep, 80, 86. All right. Nice. 86? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Woo! Ooh, nice. That's a good um, it's uh, a deck save, and it's also going to you make will difficult terrain for all this. Mm -hmm. So you will know uh, from that that these two machines automatically fail at deck saving throws because Ooh. they are literally Noobs. just they machines. Can't move. They can't move. <laughs> so uh, the inevitable will try to dodge, and with a critical miss, yes. has this save been lowered? I think it's, it was plus two before too, right? Oh yeah, you yeah, did. We didn't I, lose. I yeah, apologize. We, oh, yeah, we did. We did. yeah, yeah, you are correct. Uh, so it would actually be. Oh, nice. <laughs> Minus three. All right, it takes thirty-two points of damage and is now on difficult terrain. Try to get around it with the rocks. It'll make it slow move when it tried to kill you. Huh? What is the fuck are you saying, mate? What are you saying to he's, me? Your voice is more traveling than mine. All right, he's, well, since he's I gonna stole... reattach his broken fucking jaw after that transformation. <laughs> All right. Since, since I still have uh, the unsettling words active because he didn't end up even having it incurred mm -hmm. because of the yeah. whole deal that just happened, I am going to now. Oh boy. Ah oh, man, I hope that this counts. He's a he's a creature. Yeah, right? Like, that's just a fucking vague mm -hmm. statement for any enemy in D&D. Mm -hmm. Anything that's that not is, an object, yeah. That is correct. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I reckon it's time to cast level four confusion on the guy. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. I'm going to cast what? that spell. Oh. DC wisdom save of 15. 
Ooh. That's a good idea, actually. That might How many times do you cast it on Skagzak? <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't need to. Yeah, it's all done. <laughs> all, all, all right, and he fails. Oh! oh. oh. Right. With a plus five, too. Holy nice. fuck. Man, my fucking unsettling words is gonna be really wasted soon. Yeah. All right, it assaults and twists at the creature's mind. Affected target can't take reactions. It must roll a d10 at the start of its round to determine its behavior for that turn. All right. Mm -hmm. So now, nice. man, that's it's a horrible spell. It's it's really it's, cursed. It's just fucked. really really yeah, good. No one. I put it on a monster Dude, before I say and we I just never will again. We got so many <laughs> fucking chargers of that battery. I'm gonna keep this guy in confusion until the end of goddamn days. Yeah. yeah. All Good right. idea. Uh, it is now the execution turn. So first, we will determine if he will even be able to perform it. Ooh. Ooh. The creature does not move or take actions. He is <laughs> locked, yeah. he is yeah. locked yeah. in an infinite yeah. knowledge loop. As he jets his hand back, it just and is unable to perform the execution move on Cheezel. No. I got Fuck you back, Jesus! Yeah. I don't like this new fucking, like, late speak owl. I don't like it. <laughs> uh, he oh, will check. With a foil. He, uh, however, will check to see if he breaks through the confusion loop. And he is no longer confused. Wait, wait, no, nope, the unsettling words. Yep. He's got to take one D8 go. and subtract it. And his confusion <gasps> remains. <laughs> And with that, a new round beginning, round three of combat. The fight has just begun. We will wrap it up and continue this fight next week on God, Astral good. Academy X Goblins of Io. Thank you. Oh, so nice. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's uh, there you go. Chef's good. kiss. Chef's kiss. How how you guys uh how you guys enjoying the session? How's the combat training Ooh, so far? Love it. Um, I've landed one hit, Brett. Yeah, we're gonna get some zero. nasty rolls out there. <laughs> get some pretty nasty rolls, some real uh, messes on the Not field many out Cosma there. But... draws for a plus mm -hmm. ten. Yeah. Look, guys, goblins get one more hit. One more. Actually, I don't even know. Does confusion even count towards the charge, Brad? No, it's I damage, think it right? Does. So we need goblins need to land two more hits, and I can give the entire group bardic inspiration at the same time. Since Ooh, since everyone. you guys have uh, done well in the combat so far, and to let you know that you have just begun. If you would like, and as a as a lovely little uh, cliffhanger Creature. for everyone, oh. I will show the creature's health if you so wish. Yeah. Do it. Oh. Do, it. <laughs> do, it. Yeah. do it. No, no, no. Just no. lie to us. It. Just say it's like 10,000. Mm, do we want to know? 26 oh, health. Yes. Do, it. No. do it. All, all right. <laughs> Reveal your anger. You, just as a, just as you know, you are fighting oh. you are fighting a Lagos. This is a mm. what I would consider a mega boss. So. With that, my God, this 16. is this 70, seventy-two it, health, four hundred. This, this is the creature. Five hundred. Yeah. Okay, a thousand. Eleven hundred forty-two. Here we go. Now. <laughs> 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 well, it's you know, almost actually, leaf. in the grand scheme, <laughs> that's leaf. not that right. bad. He's <laughs> late. Is that, what, is, that, is that what's happening to Al? <laughs> that's not late, idiot. Oh, that's <laughs> three, three, I can't count that good. Brett, you that's could have been Please. <laughs> when we fought him, he only had Red. like 400 games. It's okay if you add a little more health to him. We won't be mad if he made a leap. Five more HP, bro. What's it um, gonna do? Uh, uh, but but, but uh, are you guys enjoying the new combat mechanics? I know yeah, it's a it's lot. Oh, yeah. 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 Good. But it's engaging. All right, Good cool. Job, awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. 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 Yeah. Awesome. Well, we will, uh, yeah, we'll continue this next week and we'll see if it we finish or we have to do another week. I'm uncertain, but we will, uh, yeah, we'll dive right back in completely next week. And, uh, hey, maybe, uh, Gideon will be able to assist, but we're all good for next Wednesday. That would be real good. Extra character would definitely be cool. You should scale up his HP by five if Gideon comes next week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like fucking Monster Hunter, like a new hunter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, 300 health increases and uh, you're like whoa 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 we didn't want that we didn't want that so um chat unfortunately we have players that have to be somewhere else so we cannot do fan art this week i do apologize but we will do it next week because i we already we are again on that really hard timeline but maybe they'll have some wiggle room next week mm, i do apologize everyone. 
Yep, yep, yep. Let it build up. So, um, all right. Uh, I know some of you have to get ready for another D and D game. So I will see you all later. Okay. It's been a pleasure. Yay! Okay. Bye. Bye, bye everyone. Bye. Good night, everybody. Bye. It's been a pleasure. Bye, bye. bye. Yeah, I know. Um, I know some of you guys want fan art. But unless you would like me to view the fan art on my own, I assumed you would want that for all the players. And yeah, so these past two times we've had hard outs literally at the 10 o'clock, which is why we haven't been able to do the fan art. I do apologize for that. Hopefully we'll have some more Wiggle Room next week. I wanted music. You got music. <laughs> there was music playing that entire time. So uh, so yeah, I might boost up the, uh, the audio levels might have been a little too quiet, so I will probably boost that up. How was uh how was the combat? Did you guys enjoy it? Did you guys enjoy it? I hope you all enjoyed yourself. Good times, epic fight, clap clap clap. Clap clap clap. Very scary, very interesting. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. It has just begun, my friends. It has just begun. Yep. I heard the uh, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Uh, yo, no pro show. Thanks for the five gifted subs. Thanks to everyone who's been gifting subs. Looks like we got a lot of gifted subs. Yo, thank you so much for that. Guys, real quick before we get into it, please, uh, if you'd like to support the world of IO, best way to do that is support us on the Patreon. The Patreon has so many cool perks. Uh, we are getting things pushed out. Uh, all the MP3s are going to be caught up this week. I'm going to have a couple of weeks where we do some DM notes. At one point, did you say the eight logos? I did. Mm-hmm. That is one of the things that can be scanned. The eight logos. That is absolutely it. Absolutely it. Monka S, dude. Monka S. What could that possibly mean? Did you think? Uh, this has always been my favorite D&D experience, hands down. Your mechanics and use are brilliant. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. <sighs> Bracey, thank you once again. Uh, absolutely wonderful as always. Uh, but, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, the inevitable's name is Lagos, comma, the inevitable fate. So, it's been, it's been, whoo, 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 whoo. Uh, did I ever imagine an inevitable fight before the Cosmicara? Um, I mean, in d and I don't set expectations. It is whatever happens, happens. It's just our, uh, everyone is starting to get lore that they probably would have learned after if, if this was, like, an actual campaign, like, an actual, like, scripted campaign. This is, this is probably knowledge they would have gathered and learned after the Cosmicara fight. But, uh, uh, but, uh, but yeah, since, uh, some, you know, goblins kind of jumped ahead a little bit, which is totally fine. Uh, it has allowed other people to jump ahead because of their influences and their actions, so... So, uh, yeah, any chance the audience could see the scan draw list in the future fights? Uh, yes, by supporting on the Patreon. Uh, if you go over to the Game Masters tier, I do post Game Master notes from time to time. Uh, and that would be over on the Patreon that you can go ahead and support. The Patreon itself uh, allows me to fund the show, uh, build art, all sorts of things, uh, including other assets. There we go. We know Cosmic Cars HP yet? I think, yes, I believe so. I think it was revealed at one point in time. I thought, I don't know. I, I, I know. I think some parties know. Other parties do not know. So I can't tell you one way or another. But it is more than the inevitable. Absolutely, yeah. It is definitely more the inevitable, which is why your, uh, your scans are doing that. So. But uh, yeah, the, the Lagos fight, uh, this Lagos fight should be e easy. Yep. So yeah, some 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 learned it, some didn't learn it, and that's the that's the beauty. Uh, but yeah, please uh, consider supporting the Patreon. Uh, like I said, it helps me out. It allows me to focus on IO. Uh, we're hiring map makers now, which I know the Patreon funding is going to go towards. We're currently on IO Phase Two. Uh, once we get on to Phase Three, I'm definitely going to need a lot of people uh, to hire and assist with that process. So your support. Uh, on the Patreon helps me out tremendously. So consider, consider, consider your support today. Uh, also, would like to give a shout out uh, to Why Not Gemology, Baker Staunch, Wiry Traveler, Connor on DVD, Starter Pack, Lopar Panda, Twitching Pickle, and Eagle Wolf for their great support. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you very much for that. Consider supporting today. 
Uh, you can also join the IO Discord if you'd like to talk about spoilers, talk about the fight, kind of get uh, some general ideas of what's going on. Uh, head on over there. Build a nice little community there. Uh, knowing that the goblins expose inevitable to the home realm with the banishment is hilarious. It always seems they do the right thing and cause huge effects. Yep. Uh, I will, I, I will say that the inevitable would not be aware of its origin if it had not been, if it had not been banished slash returned from its place of origin. So, uh, yep. <laughs> it has definitely moved the story in quite an interesting direction. So it's been, uh, it's been really good. Yep, yep, yep. This is all, yep, all all reactions, all effects, all everything like that. Uh, thank you so much for the 50 subs, by the way. Holy shit. Very generous. Uh, Jet, thank you for the tier one sub. No pro joke, if not the five subs. Overall, thank you for the tier one sub. Uh, Sarge and Avidus, thank you for the four months of Prime. Nightwind with a tier one sub for two months. Rookie uh, Potato, thank you for the Prime sub for three months. Pleasant Pheasant, thank you for gifting a sub to Sunval. And well, thank you for gifting a tier one sub to Sneaking Cow. Cold Leaf Soup, thank you for the tier one sub for seven months. Uh, Kanak, thank you for the tier one sub for six months. Starter Pack gift and a generous 20 gifted subs wowie wow wowie wow thank you very much for that very generous very generous indeed uh eric thank you for the bits pain saw thank you for the tier one sub for seven months uh tom move thank you for the tier one sub for almost three years at this point 27 months wow uh narek thank you for the tier one sub for six months mighty Golem with the tier one sub for eight months photo gem tier one sub for six months thank you thank you Thank you very much. And Lewin, thank you for the tier one sub for three months. I'm really glad the inevitable was actually being a jerk and it wasn't just the gobbos being paranoid. Yeah, there's some things that uh, the party may or may not find out about the inevitable during this fight. The combat is going to be an engagement in role play and lore and not just as not just be a, a blunt a, instrument of fighting. So, uh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, someone mentioned is the one th is a 1332 HP a result of a 212 D12 or is there a con bonus? Chat. I'm gonna go ahead and let you in on a little secret. Uh, I do not follow typical D and D mechanics because they're boring, they're dated, they're restrictive, and I don't think they make combat that fun. Combat in D and D is essentially life or death always, and the only way to balance things in D and D is to make everything one shot everything else. So to be like, well, uh, if I would like to make a challenge rating ten monster, then I need to go ahead and make sure that there is also a set of hit die that also does the following things, and then it goes off, and then you have to add the con mod, and then you go over there, and blah 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 blah. blah. And I went, fuck it, I'm not doing that, and I'm doing my own thing, and that is what I O is about. Uh, creatures don't follow a hit die model. They follow a blanket hit point model, depending on difficulty of the creature. Uh, because the inevitable is essentially one of the Lagoses, uh, it is a very powerful creature. Now that it has assimilated itself into a station of immense power, he has been able to bolster some of his strength. All can be explained, but uh, but yeah. I'm glad the Phantasmal Killer got disadvantaged. Absolutely. Absolutely. Reward those moments where your players think of something out of the box. And out of, that out of the box thinking is like a big thumbs up. Absolutely reward your players for that. Originally at 666 HP. That is correct. That is correct. So he now has the power of an entire station on his side. Uh, okay. If Pickle had four, yeah, and that's, I was going to, I thought that's what he was going to, she was going to do, but nope, she returned her after 50 seconds, which was good. All right, everyone, uh, be sure to follow twitter.com slash Brett Oldsmith as well. Uh, and yeah, I appreciate y'all very much. Uh, so there's going to be no campaigns for a couple of days, chat. It's just great to give him that double HP. Yeah, that's it. Smiles, winks, wiggles eyebrows. That's what's doing it. Ha ha ha. 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 We shall see. We shall see. Uh, we will be off for the next couple of days as far as D&D is concerned. Uh, Astral Academy, it, the crossover. It's pretty much here until the story arc is complete, which I have no idea when that's going to be at this point. Hopefully another session. Maybe two sessions, depending on how the battle goes. Uh, and, uh, and yeah. We will see what happens. We will see what happens. Seven Lago, seven grannies. Uh, 
eight Lagos, eight Grannies. You got your number incorrect. Uh, yeah. So, uh, no D and D tomorrow. There'll be no D and D Friday. Uh, we will have hunters back on Saturday. I will be streaming, but it'll be variety content more than likely. Uh, I'll either be playing, I might be playing some satisfactory. Um, I would like to play some buying advice again, and I would like to do a final fantasy 14 session at some point this week. Kind of return to getting that main story quest done. So things to look out for uh, over this week. I'm very, very much excited. Uh, but yeah, thank you again for your support. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and theorize everything you want in our spoiler section. Uh, go over to our rules lawyer. If you believe I did something wrong, feel free to do so. I may or may not roll my eyes at it. You freaking nerds. Uh, but that's it. Thank you so much. You guys have a wonderful day. I will see you all the next time. Uh, bye-bye.